How many natures are there in Jesus? Two. 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 Fully how man, many, fully okay. God. How many natures are there in the Father? One. How, is that not a difference in nature? Two versus one. But wait, you're telling me one plus Who? one. But in the beginning you had the word which was divine and uncreated and you had Allah which was divine that's and uncreated. That's two uncreated beings. That's one plus one. Sorry, sorry, which word did we have? Which one? You which word? Allah. You had Allah. 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 The Quran is what he was reciting. Okay. Yeah. Just like in that... The, wait, wait, does wait. it say the recitation? Because when you speak to Christians about immortality, yes. you go by the strict definition. Let's go by what the text says. No, it doesn't say exactly. recitation. Yeah, yeah, if there's a distinction yeah, between yeah. Quran yes. and recitation, why did the prophet then use the word the Quran, Quran instead of recitation because yeah. that the recitation will take the no, form no, of a pale listen, man listen. why Adam you didn't complain to Allah you distant me to commit sin if someone if God forced him to do things why does he need to do repentance exactly that's, that's my point yeah that's exactly the question. Yeah, yeah. you see in the so same where, so where was his mercy that's this, why I said Allah yeah, is not no, 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 hold on, the hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, a hold on a second here. Oh, Godwin. Oh, JC. Oh, yeah, oh, no, no, no. One of you guys are doing one. Get one at a time. One at a time. We're going there. We're going there. Come, come, come. 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 Come, Everything, everything, yeah, everything. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. My brother, bless Come. man, bless man. So, 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 so,
Okay. They don't know. Because these two are scared to talk about the Trinity, the topic Trinity. Okay. They know you can't answer our question. Whatever. You guys are restricting yourself to the foot. Whatever. So we are going to talk about the Trinity. The topic is Trinity. I never said one question, one question. I said the topic. One topic. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Deceiver. Stop lying. You are lying. Calm down. You know you are lying. Stop lying. Calm down, ladies. I asked you about Johnny Trinity. Don't give me an excuse. Don't give me an excuse. Don't give me an excuse. Okay, whatever. Stop lying. Let him talk. Yeah. Now, with all due respect, I suppose we will talk about this topic and you are more than welcome to ask me questions about Islam, about the Quran or whatever you want. Okay? However, however, we talk about a topic. So you pick a topic. I pick a topic. And we discuss that. Very simple. Is that okay? I don't want any conditions like one question, one question, five minutes, two minutes. This is that tactics. The J Smiths crew is something that they have always done. Whenever we talk about the Trinity, they break into sweat. I don't know why. Okay. So, so whenever we talk, okay. So, 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 sorry. Let's start with your name first. What's your name? Paperboy. Paperboy. Okay. So let's talk about the topic of the Trinity, and then you open back a little. Topic, and we talk about that. Okay. You can pick whatever topic they want. Okay. If you want to entertain that topic, that's fine. But my topic is the Trinity. Okay. Yes, my so favorite topic, as you, as, you, as, you, as you all know. Can can you okay. Discussion as well, then. well, I would rather deal with any pony than these ponies. Okay? So, the number one. Nice, nice. They all laugh. It must be funny. Nice, okay. Nice. So, what I'm saying is this. If, well, it is. Take it on the chin. Okay, so what I'm saying is this. If you your your creed is the Trinity, yeah. yes. If anybody wants to talk about the Tawhid, we Muslims are more than happy to entertain that topic. Okay, yeah. doesn't matter from home because this is something which is the crux and the core of our belief. Yeah. The creed is what we believe that is the oneness of God. Okay. okay. As a Christian, you believe in one God as well. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Okay. But then you add a but to it. Okay. So we believe in one God, but this one God is three in one. If I made a mistake in trying to uh, interpret your creed, okay. please let me know, so I do not yeah, misrepresent you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this three in one is what I'm focused on. Okay. Yeah. If you say I just I believe in one God, one, I have no issues. Yeah. Yes. So whether it's the Christians or the Jews, if they say we believe in one God, as a Muslim I have no issues. So the Abrahamic faith, we all profess that we believe in one God. Yes, but then there is, but because the Christians, the Christians have this difference, which is the three in one concept. Can you prove to me that God is not one, but three in one from the Bible? So in terms of um, the Bible, we have to kind of look at where this concept came from and you have to start from the uh the beginning so to understand god's full revelation you have to read you know from genesis to revelation sure. so muslims will bring the claim of if uh, god was one or if god was a multiplicity in personhood why is it he always said the shema you know here O israel your lord god is one shema yeah, the Shema. So we have to understand how to understand God. Hey guys, I can't hear him with you both. We have, to, under chat, chat we, we have to understand the nature of God and how God revealed Himself yeah. to the Israelites. Sorry, I can't hear with these two guys talking in my ear. But anyway, we we'll, we can always move. Sorry if you don't mind. Okay. So I, I, so, I can hear you. So. So in terms of understanding where this concept came from, we, you know, the, in, in the Bible, God says, I reveal the end from the beginning. And he says, um, it is for the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to uh, search out a thing. So, so what God is communicating is that we should be able to see uh, remnants of this theology, even from the Old Testament. So, Sorry, which theology? In terms of uh, God having the multiplicity in personality. So in terms of... So Trinity, more than one person? Maybe. Yes, okay. God, that God having more, more than one person. Okay. So in terms of understanding the Bible, God is a God of revelation. So for example, if you go to a Jewish person and ask him about the concept of heaven and hell, 
they will tell you their concept of heaven and hell is not the same as the Christian or Muslim concept of heaven and hell. They do not believe in hellfire. They believe in a place called Gehenna, where uh, where souls go to. It's like a washing machine. Some some don't even believe in the afterlife. So I would first say, if the concept of heaven and hell exists, which is established in the New Testament, why is it Jews do not believe in the same concept as we do? Because God only revealed certain things at a certain time to those people. But if I look at the Old Testament, I will see things that collude to hell or to heaven. But because Jews, they reject the New Testament, they have an incomplete understanding of the Old Testament. So, for example, as a Christian, I can look into the Old Testament and see these uh, different uh, personhoods of God. For example, you know, when Jesus said, how can David say the Lord of my Lord? You know, you have to look at very, there's various different um, verses within the, the Bible that actually allude to this. For example, in uh, when the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, it says Yahweh would rain down um, hell and brimstone to Yahweh down below. How can there be two Yahweh's? So we look at other verses which then kind of confirm what we believe, which is then revealed into the in the New Testament. So you can think of it as the Old Testament is the key that unlocks the New Testament. So you're saying just because in the Old Testament you find yes. certain ambiguous references yes. to this uh, multiple person, okay. you yes. think that is somehow alluding to the Trinity? Well, the, as I said, God is a God of revelation. So when I go back to the heaven and hell thing, yeah. I could say to you, don't you think it's strange? Like if Jews at that time knew there was a real heaven and hell, like you could go to eternal hellfire for your sins, they would have thought twice about some of their actions. But this was a concept that was not fully revealed to them. So that's why if you go to a Jew today so and why ask would, them... Why should a Jew believe something that wasn't revealed to them? Exactly. So then when God says... No, but the it, point you were trying to make yes. is that it, it alludes in there, but yes. they don't believe in it. Yes, it's because, two different things. Because for ex example, if, if God revealed to you a certain thing, yes. for example, if God tells you that he's all-knowing, yes. he's revealed this to you, this yes. information, yes. yes? If he's revealed this to you clearly, yes. then you have no other choice but to believe it if you were a believer yes. in that revelation. Yes. You see yes. what I mean? Yeah. But you see, in the case of the Jews, yes. has the concept of heaven and hell yes. been revealed no. clearly no. in the Old Testament? No. So you cannot hold them accountable yes. for something that God has not revealed. Exactly. I'm not saying it hasn't been revealed, That's my point. but if that is the case, yes. then you cannot hold them accountable for something yes. God hasn't revealed to them. Exactly. So okay, now, now the question to you is yes. this. God has revealed to you yes. and to the Jews and yes. to the Muslims that he is one. Yes. Yes? Yes. However, you as a Christian yes. go beyond that just belief in one yes. person. So you don't believe God is just one person yes. or one being only. I don't know. Maybe you might believe he's one being. Because some say one being, three persons. Yes. I don't know. Do you believe that concept? Yes. One being, but three persons. Yes. yes. Is that what you believe? Yes. Let me ask you this. Is a person a being? Is a person a being? Uh, you could say so, yeah. So you have three beings in one being. Does that make sense to you? You have three persons. No, three beings. Remember, a yeah, person is have, a being. You, you have three. If a person is a have, being, then you have three beings in one being. Yeah, you have you have you have three you have three hypostatus in one. You can, you can you can name it in the Greek, yes. French. Yes. Doesn't but matter. I'm just giving you the, the correct terminology. Remains, yeah, yeah, the concept remains the same. Yes. Do you have three beings in one being? You can do. No, I'm not asking you. Can it be? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to me? Yes, yes three does. beings yeah. into one being. Yes, it does. Okay, so you have now how many beings in that one being? You have, say that again. In that one being, which you consider as God, okay. how many beings are within that one being? Okay, let me ask you a question first. After you answer mine. Okay, so you have three persons. No, so you have three I, I said three beings. I said three beings. We don't use the Remember yes. you said the hypostasis means Yeah, but I'm, I'm giving you the terminology. So your terminology in being may be different from my understanding. But that's the so reason that, I asked you. Yes. Is a person a being? Because hypostasis means a person, right? A person. Uh, a hypostasis is a, is a personhood. A person exactly. Yes. Is that hypostasis yes. a being? In terms of being, describe your understanding yes. of being. Just like the way you say God is one being. Yes. In the same way, is a person a being? A person is a personhood. It's its its, it's own distinct. Uh, personality that can communicate with another personality which is exactly what a being is <laughs> a being is also individual okay a being can also communicate okay. a, be a being can also be conscious okay yes a being also has a will <laughs> okay and a, a being can have a can communicate as well okay so is that hypostasis yes or if you want to call it an English a person mm -hmm. 
Is a person a being? Is a person a being? Well, yeah, so define the... If you're talking about human being... I didn't say human being. I never yeah. used the word human being. I said just a being. So repeat your question. Is This is like the third time I'm repeating my question. Yeah, but I'm just trying it's, to it's understand... It's simple your, English. Okay. I don't mean to be condescending here, but yeah. this is the third time and I'll repeat it four times. No all, as long as I can get a response from you. Yeah. Okay, so when you say God is a being, you understand what that means? God is an entity, a living entity. Okay, call it entity, I have no yes. issues. Okay, so a person, a being, yes. are both entities. Okay. A person can be a being okay. and a person can be an entity. Yes. Yes? Okay. Now, this being, mm -hmm. which is a person, let's say the Father mm -hmm. is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Spirit is a person. Yes. We've got three persons. Yes. Are these three beings or one being? Are they one being? They're, they're, they're united in one. So they 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 have they share the same essence. It's not really? like it's not it's not like a three-headed dragon, like you know. But that's what I'm I'm just clearing up. So they share the same essence. They have distinct personhoods. By so the way, in terms of uh, so that's why I gave you the three-headed dragon. A, dream, a three-headed dragon is one being with three heads. Maybe they have different personalities. It's one being, right? Can I? Yeah, that is can a question. I, you see, that is a key. Yeah, but I said, Peter, that, Peter, do you I, mind? I, I, I want to ask wait, you a question. Wait, Peter, wait, when the I, I said, song? I've said they you share the same essence. What I'm saying is this. Yes. When I talk about a being, yes. I consider that being as an individual. Okay, but okay? I don't. That is you don't. I consider they share the same essence. Okay, so when you talk about a being, yes. you don't consider it to be an individual. A being, it can be. So if we think of human beings, for example, if I say to you, yeah. a conjoined twin, yeah. how many person, persons? It's two persons. How many, how many natures? Two, two natures. They have, they have how, many, natures. how many bodies? Two bodies again. No, no, conjoined twins. Yes, conjoined twins. When have they two have bodies. two heads <laughs> and one body. No, I don't think you know the conjoined oh. twins. Conjoined twins yes. can be separated. I'm not saying that when they wait separated. Minute, wait a minute. I'm wait saying. A minute, wait a Do you know why they, they can be they, separated? They, no, no. There's because a case. Two different bodies. There's a, there's there's two hearts. Listen. There's a case of in America. <laughs> they can live individually. Where there's, a, there's these two twin females. They have one body and two heads. That the upper head comes here, so they cannot be separated. So I'm asking you, how many personalities and how many natures? Okay. Yes. When you say personality, yes. Okay. Not, when you have, when they have two heads, yes. They have two brains. Yeah, okay. Two consciousness. Yes. Right. Yes. Two wills. Yes. How many beings are there? So how many bodies? No, no. Answer have? the question. How many beings are there? But how many bodies? When you have two different how consciousness. How many? I'm asking you. How many bodies? Wait, 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 that's wait, 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 wait. You know a conjoined twin having yes. a single body mm -hmm. with two heads. Yes. 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 It's still two persons. Okay. And how many bodies? Okay. So in that case, it's one body. Okay. Okay. In the so, example so, you get, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. But in the example that I gave of other so, conjoined twins, they have two bodies joined but together. I'm not talking about but those. they can I'm also be separated. I'm talking about the example I've given yeah, you. Yeah, you have given a very narrow definition of a conjoined. No, I'm talking about the Fine conjoined. Yes, one body, so I have no issues. Yes. But how many so, consciousness? So, so you have one body and two personalities. Yes. Two people. Yes. Within one. Two brains. Okay. Two wills. Okay. Two consciousness. Okay. Is so, that the same in? So, so, the wait, same wait. For the so now, when they want to walk, which body controls? The, which mind controls the, the, the walking? Like I if don't they know. Wanna... I haven't studied medicine okay. that far. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> to so, know who controls so, what? So, so now we have a. Con... Who do you think controls it? I'm asking you. No, your question. So you should know the no, answer, no, because right? Because you're no. you're the one who has confusion. I don't have uh, a... multiple personhoods. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. I asked you about yes. the being and the person. Yes. Yes. So the reason you couldn't yes. answer that is okay. because you're confused. So if they so once again, no, no, no. Is if, a person a being? If this person is one being, as in one flesh, with two heads, two distinct personalities. That means, how many beings do you have? Two beings. But you've got one body. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so how have you got two? Okay. You know how you define a being? Okay. By one consciousness. Okay. Okay. So for example, if you have a single consciousness, okay. then you are one being, yes. one person. Okay. So they have two consciousness. Yeah. In that case, And the Trinity of yours, has three consciousness. Are you sure about that? Bodies. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure the Trinity has three consciousness? They have. They they can think for themselves. They can communicate with the other person within the Trinity. So, so it's not. One, so it's not one being then. It is three beings. No, you say three consciousness. Three, yes. persons. three consciousness yes. means independence in the way they think. In different no, exactly. bodies as well. Three persons. You see what I mean? Okay. The same body. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. You know earlier you said they all share the same nature. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? Post they, they share, are you they sure share, about they, that post they incarnation? Share, they, share, they share the same essence. Okay. Are you sure about that post incarnation? Yes, I am. Did Jesus not take on the human nature? Yes, he did. Does the Holy Spirit have the human nature? 
No. So it's different nations then? No. <laughs> because in, in terms of... Uh, That's a funny laugh to the camera. In terms of... You try to teach about Christian theology to a Christian. Yeah. Why not? Oh, I've been doing it for so many years. Yeah. Why not? Are you, are you no wonder you guys... So, no wonder so, if I ask about the Trinity, I get different answers for every person. Well, 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 no, I have a question to ask. So what is your concept? So you're saying they have different natures. Yes. Sorry, you're not saying they have a different nature. Even though I told you, post-incarnation, yes. Jesus has two different natures. Yes. The human nature yes. and the spiritual nature or the divine nature. Yes. Yes? Yes. Does the Holy Spirit have the human nature? No. Does the Father have the human nature? No. So how are they just having the same nature? Jesus Christ yes. is a hypostatic union. Yes. The Holy Spirit is not a hypostatic union. Yes. The Father is not a hypostatic union. Yes. Do they have the same nature? So, so according to uh, the Chalcedon Creed, you have two distinct natures, fully man and fully God. They do not mix, they are fully separate. But God can operate in his, uh, Jesus can operate in his humanity. Now what you're trying to say I'm is that, if, if, what you're trying to say is if there's a paradox, then it means it cannot exist. But this is I what I never we, said it's a paradox. I'm saying, yes. how many natures are there in Jesus? Two. Two. Fully how man, many, fully okay. God. How many natures are there in the Father? One. Because How is that not a difference in nature? Two versus one. Because that because, because his human nature doesn't. Not, does, does, does I didn't ask about mixing. Yeah. Does not so, How does he do with mixing? Nature. So now, that's why he's mixing so, it up. So, so Peter, so he, human, can, he can so answer himself. Human nature. Yeah, but this is. Can you ask him not to interrupt? Yeah, because none this, of the Muslims this, this are concept trying. is very simple to answer that. And I, I, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about. Actually, you're right. It is very simple. I'm going to talk I'm about. I'm surprised you can't. A particle duality. This is something we understand within quantum science that all matter has two natures. Yes, you know about the um, double slit experiment. So I'm just going to give, because people may, may not understand. So I'm going to read something, an article, and I want people to- Why are you to going to an analogy about, because, because about people, particle physics? Because, because people don't understand. So they need, if they want to understand Christian theology, okay. I have to give them an, an analogy Tell that me. they need to Calm understand. Down. No, need to Calm down. Yes, simple. Listen, Can I read listen, what I'm going listen, to say? Paper boy, listen to this. But did it, you not yourself very say, simple. did you yourself okay. not say that they have two natures? Let me, Sorry, Jesus has two natures, yes. and the now Father I'm going has to give one you, nature. I'm going to give everyone an analogy, then we can yeah. go from yeah, this yeah, analogy. Paper, well. So this is give the actual... analogy, they never come back to no, God. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. This is this what analogy give. I'll give the analogy, okay. then we can discuss further on. So this is the article, it's called Quantum, the quantum world is mind-bogglingly weird. So it says, consider photons. These are the particles that make up light and radiation. They're tiny packets of energy. Centuries ago, scientists believed that light travelled as a stream of particles, like a flow of tiny balls. Then 200 years ago, experiments demonstrated that light could travel as waves. A hundred years after that, newer experiments showed that light could sometimes act like waves and sometimes act like particles, called photons. These findings caused a lot of confusion and arguments and headaches. Wave or particle, neither or both. Some scientists offered a compromise using the word wavicle. How scientists answer the question will depend on how they try to measure photons. It is possible to set up an experiment where photons behave like particles and others where they behave like waves, but it is impossible to measure them as waves and particles at the same time. This is one of the bizarre ideas that pops out in <coughs> quantum theory. Photons don't change, so how scientists study them shouldn't matter. They shouldn't only see, they shouldn't only see a particle when they look for particles and only see waves when they look for waves. Do you, really, do you really believe the moon exists only when you look at it? Einstein famously asked. This problem, it turns out, is not limited to photons. It extends to electrons and protons and other article, particles as small, small or smaller than atoms. So every elementary particle has properties like a, both a wave and a particle. That idea is called wave-particle duality. It is one of the biggest mysteries in the study of the smallest parts of the universe. That field is known as quantum physics. So now, this is an analogy because God, like a photon, has a dual nature. One fully man and fully God that interact in a way that is a paradox. But as we can see even from quantum physics, a paradox doesn't mean disprove itself. It just means something that scientists can observe this thing but they may not fully comprehend how it ha comes into place. So that's why within Christian theology, people say, how do you have some that is fully God and fully man? Did it I ask that question? But I'm, so you explained yeah, to I'm, me something I didn't ask because you. Because you've asked me. This is called a straw man. You, you said that 
God has two natures and I'm explaining to you the two natures. But I didn't ask you to explain because the two natures. Because you said, does, how many natures does God have? And I said one. Okay, but you said, I, how did many I ask natures? you to explain the natures? No. It you doesn't yourself, matter. I'm giving it. No, no, but you yourself. Think, but you see, hold okay, on. You so yourself no. had concluded yes. that the Father doesn't have two natures. Yes. The Spirit doesn't have two natures. Yes. And Jesus has two natures. Yes. Is two equal to one? According to quantum physics, yes. Because a, wa a proton has a, 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 a wave and uh, 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 so it's a localized and a non-localized uh, property. So it has two natures within one. You have one particle, but it has two distinct You're natures. You're doing it again. Wait, I don't think you're understanding the question. Four natures. That is up to four, not three. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work. If, what, Jesus, if Jesus is two, yes. the spirit is one, and the father is one, that's four natures. No, no, now. they share the same essence. So Which that is, is one nature. That's the, let's call it the divine nature. Jesus had the human nature. So you have one and one. So they both, like Jesus operated that's the only way I can give you an analogy that, that you understand. Okay, so, so, no, no, no. So, paper boy, let me let me get this straight. Yes. So, you're yes. telling me Jesus yes. has two natures, yes. but the other two only have one nature. According to Christian theology, okay, yes, you're telling so, me something that we already know. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm yes. not telling you. I'm yes. asking you. Okay. So, you're telling me they share one nature. They share the human nature. No. Good. So, that is an additional nature which only applies to Jesus Christ. Yes. So, Jesus Christ's nature consists of both human and divine. Yes. Is that nature, mm -hmm. human and divine nature, different to that of the Father the, and the Holy Spirit? The because divine nature is the same, the human nature. We have already answered that question. Yes. So the divine nature is shared. Yes. Okay? So imagine if we let's label the natures as D for divine yes. and H for human. Okay. So the nature D yes. is present in all three of them. Yes. Okay, so we understood understand so far? Yes. Good. The nature H is only found in Jesus. The nature H. Yes. Which is the human nature. It's yes. only found in Jesus. This nature is not shared by the three. The, the, the others do not share it. Because God is a spirit. So he, he's a divine being in himself. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is yes. the same. Yes. Jesus, we dealt with the divine bit already. Yes. So I have no issues three with that. Yes. Okay? Remember? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just yeah, like yeah. you have H2O, yes. two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Over here, if you if you have a formula, yes. it'll be B3. Yeah. H. Okay? okay. So if you have three natures, yes. all of them, the D D D, mm -hmm. that is shared. We have no issues so far because this is something that we understand clearly. Yes. The one nature that is not shared by the three is what? The I want him to answer. The human element. Exactly. Yes. So don't say they share the same nature. There's only one nature of Jesus. But according to our creed, let me finish. There, they ha there is one. Yeah. In with the hyper. According to the Christian creed, yes. you have two natures. The in what? nature here in Jesus is only. the divine nature. The two natures are in Jesus only. No, yeah. the Father as well. The Father has two natures? No wonder I have to explain the Trinity to you so many times. And even then he doesn't understand. I'm wrestling with Jacob. So, Soko here, who's supposed yeah. to be the cameraman, he wants to tell us the Father has two natures. What are the two natures, Soko? What? Since you wanted to interject. Ja no, ja the, the, what are the two natures? In, in terms of... Jawe? Jawe what? I'm Abraham. I'm wrestling with Jacob. So he was a human as well? He took all the people. Oh, wow. So Soko is telling us, Yahweh, the yeah. Father, the Father, no. right? The Father also has human nature. Am I right? No, what he's no saying. No wonder what you don't want to. What are you saying? I think you're better off without asking behind the camera. He's not asking too many questions. I can't ask you. Peter, I have a question to ask. Walk away when I want. I have a question to ask you. I have a question to ask you. I won't be entertaining you. I have a question to ask you. Doesn't matter. I have a question to ask. Doesn't matter. I don't want to answer you. Why not? Because I don't want to answer you. I want to answer him. Oh, he's scared. Like you, he's scared. You scared? Yeah. What are we in the corner? You scared or not? Whatever. Come on, let's continue. Okay. That is exactly why I want to talk to you. You shouldn't debate with him then. Who are you to tell him what he said? He said it's going to be. It's not going to be one way round, right? He's the only one asking questions now. He's the only one asking questions. So when it's our turn to ask questions, he's got a picture of a Joker and he acts like one as well. V. V. Okay. Well, he has a question. We have a question to ask. Obviously. But who's going to answer our question today? Right. So go find someone else. I want you here to give that one. I want you here to give that one. Not to you. Really? Yes. Oh, why not? Yeah, yeah. Not worthy of it. Why not? Go someone else. Because According to who? According to me. According to you. Yes. So you're not following Allah then? Sorry? You're not following no, Allah. I said then? I don't want to talk to you. Does Allah want to give me that one or not? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. So you're not following Allah's will then? I think he's just letting him the other guy. Wait, ask the question. Does Allah want you to give that to everyone? Are you did you understand the question also? You see, the two natures that Jesus has, only one of them is shared by the three. Okay. Okay, the human nature is not shared by the three. So do not say they are they are co-equal in their essence and in their nature. They are not co-equal. They have different nature 
Jesus has a different nature to that of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Jesus has two natures, the other two only have one nature. So that is clearly, that is clearly not co-substantial. In what sense? They don't have the same essence. One of them has human and divine, both together. The other two only share one nature from that. And what is your point? My point is that they don't have the same nature. But they share the divine nature. That's, only, that's what makes yeah. Jesus God. So, so only the divine nature is shared. But Jesus has an additional nature which they don't share. Okay. The human nature. Which is distinct. Exactly my point. Yes. Which shows you if something is, dis if the nature is distinct in Jesus, yeah. which shows that only he has it and the other two don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you so call it distinct. Different yeah, it's because it's different. Out. Thank you. Look, if you don't understand that, I suggest you go home and have, watch this video again. Because this is exactly the point that I made earlier with you when we had our first discussion. That this nature which you keep talking about of yeah. Jesus is not something that is shared by the three, the human nature. Yeah. And you cannot take away the human nature from Jesus. It's going to remain with him for eternity. The human yeah. nature, as in you and me, we grow old and we die. Yeah. God is living, Jesus is living in eternity within a human body, but it's not wow. confined to the same principles that your body is confined to. Otherwise, God, Jesus would have died a million times by now in heaven. He has an eternal body, which is glorified. Okay. So when we go into the book of Acts and Paul, he says that we will one day be uh, glorified in the same way uh, God, we, Jesus has So you're God. telling me he's not a hypostatic union anymore? Mm -hmm. Or he is? Mm -hmm. In terms of the hypostatic union, yeah. it means a, f a fully human. When if, if, if Jesus has a human form in heaven, it's not the same as us. It's a simple yes or no. Does he is he hypostatic union now or not? No, he's not. No. So what what is he now? So let me give you a, a you which part of humanity is still left in him. Okay. If not the spirit, if not the right. body, let, let, then what is left let, in him let, of let, humanity? Let, let me answer I don't this. understand. Because Let's this is something new to, Christ to Christian doctrine, which you're talking about now. Okay. If you ask the Christians, they will all tell you that it's still a hypostatic union. Yeah. You somehow are denying that. No, let, let me find a, a Bible verse just to clarify what I'm trying to say. Actually, you won't find a Bible verse about the hypostatic union. Okay. So you have 1 Corinthians 15, okay. 42 to 43. Yeah. It says, so it will be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. You hear that? It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. Now I'll give you. Uh, whose body is that? Anyone, that this is, this is talking about resurrection body. No, whose body? Anybody? Yeah, that could be anyone. Yeah. So, anyone. So it could be your body. No, but, sorry, your yeah, soul. It but, could be any but, soul. But, what I'm first trying to establish is that our resurrected body. Yes. When you say the hypostatic union, and one reason why I say it is it, Jesus. The, Hypostatic union ended when Jesus was res resurrected because his literal human body, as we know it, the one that ages, the one that goes to the toilet, the one that does this, this is not the same body like I think the you heavenly mi I body. I think you misunderstand the hypostatic union. Yes. The hypostatic union talks about the two natures. Yes. Not the bodies. But what is the nature wait, 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 of the human wait, wait, body? Wait a minute, it wait a minute, ages, wait a minute, wait, old, wait a minute. When I talk about the yes. nature, I'm not talking about your physical earthly body. The hypostatic union implies yes. both the nature of human and the divine yes. are going to remain in Jesus. Whatever body he acquires later on, this nature will still remain in him. Yes. Okay, so that but, is a hypostatic yeah, union but, I but said. In terms of a human nature, we have to associate what is with a human nature. So that a body that ages, a body that defecates, a body that grows tired, a body that grows old. Shall you I show you what I mean by so, human nature? Okay, go to go to First Corinthians, mm -hmm. okay? Um, chapter 15, yeah. verse 20, I believe. Okay. Is it 1 Corinthians 15? Yeah. So I'll go to. So, and after this, I'll ask you a question as well. Yeah. I mean, as long as you understand the difference between beings, first, persons, first, apostatic first, unions. First Corinthians 15 20. Yeah. So, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Carry on, carry on. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. Carry I'll tell you what went to Carry on. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But in each in turn, Christ the first fruits, then when he comes to those who belong to him, then the end will come when he has when he hands over the kingdom of the kingdom of God to the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority and power. Mm -hmm. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he has put everything under his feet. 
Now, when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that it does not include God himself. He put everything under Christ. When he has done this, then the son, of, the son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him. So that God may, God may be all in all. Okay, so the last words there, 1 Corinthians 15, 28. Yes. When he says that, when he has done this, that means when he has conquered death, yes. when he's handed his kingdom back to God, yes. okay, he will be subject, the son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him, okay, who is who's God, yes. okay, so the son will become subject to God. What do you understand by that? So in terms of uh, the son will become subject to God, God is the, God is like the reason God is the divine will who is God here who is God here? the father the father yes okay so the son will become subject to the father at the end so from our biblical theology yeah. the father sent the son mm -hmm. it's never the other way around okay so I'm not uh, asking you, you when have you have during his earthly ministry yes this so, is right so at the you, end so you have an idea put uh, so you have um, Within the Godhead, they all have their own distinct roles. So, the Father is the, the authority figure. By the way, authority is not a role, you know that. So what is it? <laughs> authority is basically your jurisdiction yes, to, to exactly. command someone. Yes. Okay? Yes. This is a nature. No, it's, it's not, not a nature. It's not a role, no, it's not a role. No, no, it's not a okay. nature. You, you're calling it for, a role? For example, in your Quran, it says all, all prophets were equal, but some were elevated above the others. So either they're all equal, or you can have distinction. Because if you say that, there's no distinction then your Quran refutes itself but it no. says all, all prophets were made equal no. the Quran doesn't say they're all equal the Quran says okay. no for equal by yes. ahadim min rusuli. means we do not okay. we yes. do not differentiate exactly but among, some had greater exactly. distinction when you say dis differentiate yes. means they are all considered to be chosen from Allah okay it never says that they are all equal so, in the in their status or okay. something like that this is something that you added to the actual words so, of the Quran but you see in the Bible we clearly say you said that the Father, yes. the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal. Now, yes. when I ask you co-equal, are they co-equal in authority? No. No, essence, they are not. So who is in charge? The Father. Good. Yes. When someone is in charge yes. and somebody else follows, who is the master? The one who's in charge. Yes, the one, the one who's in charge. But and who, they're, and who, they're equal in and who is the And who is the one? Yes. The one who actually takes commands is called the servant normally. Yes, okay. because God, God not is not the servant of anyone. That, yeah. God does that, not submit to anyone. Yep. God is not subject to anyone. Thank According you. to this Bible, okay. your now, own Bible. Okay. Wait, let me finish. Uh, yeah, on, According right. to your own Bible, the Son, whom you call God Almighty yes. as well, uh -huh. is subject to a higher authority. Okay. Okay. Can God be higher than anyone? So let me answer this with scripture. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning through him all things were made without him nothing was has nothing was made that has been made what do you understand that from that, it's, that saying, it's saying the word okay. it's saying yeah. god has the authority yes. but god without the word could not do anything without it god say, let say me, that again say let that again okay. because that let sounds me read, really let me read it again to me, in the beginning yes. was the word yes and the word was with god yes. and the word was god okay he was with god in the beginning yes through him Who's him? Through him, through the word. Yes. All things were made. Yes. Without him, nothing made. was made that has been made. So God has the authority, but through creation, everything was done through the word. So what is it's, the word? It's, it's like having a head and a neck. Your head can reason for the neck to move, but that without a neck, your head cannot do much. So they have different. It's like, for example, we have the term of a prime minister. The prime minister is called the first amongst equals. The Prime Minister dictates sometimes policy, but he cannot do anything with his fellow MPs. So they all are all equal in status, but the P PM has the authority. Are they all equal in status? Seriously? Do you, do you, have you heard the term first amongst equal? Are you telling me have the only... Have that? you heard the phrase the first amongst equal? That's what the Prime Minister is Are called. you telling me the Prime Minister is equal to an MP in the Parliament? I'm asking you, have you heard... I've heard that yes. statement, but does, yes, that, does that mean the Prime Minister... Can, wait a minute, yes. are you telling me the Prime Minister... Yes. Can the Prime Minister sack anyone in the Cabinet? Can the, can the Prime Minister sack anyone in the... In, oh, in the Cabinet? In the cabinet? Yes. You tell me. Oh, you tell me, you seem you, to know the, the linguistics me. about the first yes. among the equals and you all that. You tell me. Okay? Yes, he can. Okay. Okay? 
which shows that he has authority. Just wait, 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 wait. My question wasn't about. But that's my, my question whole point. about. He has authority, but his power. So his, 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 he has authority. That's what God has. God has the authority. But a, a prime minister cannot do anything by himself without the votes of his party. I'm not so saying that. Yes, but but you see, the prime minister yes. is someone who is elected. Okay. Just like a messenger and a prophet is elected by God. Okay. You see, God is the one who decides who will be my representative on earth yes. and who is not going to be my representative on earth. Yes. yes? And this is the same thing with regards to whether it's a messenger, yes. a prophet, an angel, but, whatever it is. God is the one who decides. He is the ultimate okay. authority. Now wait, a simple question will actually make us both understand from the same level. Okay. Let me ask you this. You and I believe in God. Yes. Yes? You and I believe that God is the ultimate authority. Yes. Yes? Can there be any authority after believing that? Can there be any authority higher than God? Can there be higher than God himself? No. No. Is there any authority higher than Jesus Christ? The Father. <laughs> what, does that, he, what does that tell you? He, he submits to the. He. Let me. What does that tell correctly. you? Who's God? Wait, 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 so, anyone, so, so in terms of the Trinity, they all they all naturally re agree. They don't just have disputes. They don't have one opinion that says let's do this, and let someone else says let's do this, and they have like infighting between them. So the, again, the Father is like the will, and it's the will is carried out through the Son. So they all have roles within the Trinity. Oh, the, they have different wills. You said that earlier yourself. Yes, but they share this. When they share the same, I would, yeah, they, in terms of let's say the goal. So they they cannot oh, disagree okay. in purpose. So they have the same goal. Yes. You know, so, his disciples have the same goals as well. So wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't jump. Don't jump. So, 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 about, doesn't do anything. My question was about the authority. Yes. But let me just ask you something. So in terms of because you said I can ask you questions. No, no, of course you can ask yeah. me questions. But, you have been asking me questions yeah. already. But I, no, question, no, but I, I my question, you, I my ask, question wait, was wait, with regards to your Quran. I, I, I want to ask you in regard to your Quran. Yes. Oh wait, wait, wait. We haven't oh, finished hold this hold topic on, yet. On. Yes. But I if, you, you yeah. asked me. No, but it's in terms of concepts. I think in terms of concepts. Okay, so it's still the same topic. Well, let me. As long as you don't change the topic, I have no issues. So, so let me give you an example. So, in terms of the Quran, is the eternal word of God. Yes. And it's uncreated. Sorry, when you say the Quran is the eternal word of God, yes. the speech of Allah yes. Yes, yes. is the eternal is something that is eternal. So do not conflate it's eternal. Do okay. not conflate what is eternal in the sense that the speech Sorry. of Allah. You see the Quran is a subset okay. of the knowledge of Allah. Okay. So the knowledge and the speech of Allah yes. are eternal. Okay. Are they being so, or not? So, so in the are beginning, they being? Ask them, are they had, being? Uh, Allah, that was divine. We don't worship the Quran. If that's I know, what I'm trying that's to say. What, you had Allah. But you guys worship Jesus. You had Allah, that was stone. divine and uncreated. No, we don't worship the backstone. That's you, a lie. You had Allah, that was divine and it was uncreated. You worship the cross wait, using wait, that wait, analogy. Wait, 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 go to the church. Wait, 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 go to the church. Divorce, they say wait. in front of the cross. Like, they are like that. So you worship the cross. Using your own permission. I don't. Is it a being or not? Worshiping a human and sacrificing humans. I don't know. So go keep quiet. Let me just establish. Let him talk. You can talk. So you had Allah, who's uncreated. Yes. And he is eternal. And the Lord. Yes. And the, the, the Quran. Yes, and uncreated. And uncreated. So you had two divine. No, two, no, beings. No, no, two, exactly. two beings. You know, you need to understand. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was always arguing with him that. Is the Quran the entire speech of Allah? You tell me. No, the Quran is a subset okay. of Allah's knowledge. Okay. It's not all the knowledge is in the Quran of uh, that Allah possesses. Okay. okay. So you see the attribute. For example, his speech is an attribute. Is it a being? We know. We know. We know that you know. this is a speech yes. of Allah, okay. which is his attribute. Is it a being or not? An attribute. Don't interfere. An attribute by itself okay. doesn't have his own consciousness. But, but okay, it doesn't have its own consciousness. So you, but it is un. It was Do not separate the wait, wait, wait. attributes yes. with the being so, of Allah. So which one is a being then? And it was divine. What is uncreated? So his it, attribute it, exists, but it's not a it being. Have, it's not it don't make any sense. What is not created? The Quran, the speech of Allah. The speech of Allah the is eternal. A, yes. Allah. The speech of Allah is the attribute of Allah. Yes. Okay. All the attributes of Allah okay. are eternal. Is it being? Okay. Now let me ask you this. Wait, is it a being? No, in order for you to understand, I have yes. to give an okay. analogy. All right. Just like you give the analogy of the photons and the waves. Okay. Okay. Imagine this. If you speak to someone. Yes. Yes. You speak in a certain way. Okay. With a certain voice. Okay. Yes. Now. When you're speaking to someone else, yes? Okay. I cannot say that your speech or the way you speak is better than the paper boy. Okay. Because your speech is something which distinguishes you as a person. Okay. Okay? They are not the same. Yes. So the speech is not synonymous to you being a being. Okay. Now that is how you need to understand okay. that this speech which you're trying to say is eternal yes. 
is it a different being? No, your okay. speech is not, not a different being. Okay. okay, and I hope okay. you are paying attention, Peter, right. because this is some mistake that you have made several times now. Okay, when so you talk about an individual, you compare. Okay. But wait, you know when you compare two people. Wait, 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 I do not compare you mm -hmm. with Soko's speech. Okay. Okay. I say I will compare you as a being, as a yeah. person, mm -hmm. and I'll compare Soko as a person. Sorry, calling you Soko as JC, right? Okay, my apologies. JC as a person. Okay. And Paper Boy as a person. Yes. If I say Paper Boy, your voice mm -hmm. is not the same as JC's. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What do you immediately think about? You think about his voice, mm -hmm. not him as a person. Okay. Okay. So do not compare something which is a being to one of his attributes okay now if that is clear so, so ask this, a question so the speech question. is his attribute i'm going to read you two yeah. attributes are not i'm just going to read you two hadiths and i just want you to comment sure, sure, no problem. so the first hadith is the quran uh, speaks this testimony on the day of judgment is that the one you're going to bring yeah. up so I'm, just, I'm just going to read See, i can read these guys no, no, that's fine. so so the first one is it's hassan but it's from um so ibn majah so it says, it was narrated from uh, Barida that his father told that the messenger of Allah said, the Quran will come on a day of resurrection like a pale man. And it will say, I am the one that kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. Let me read the other one. So it says, uh, Actually, let's just go with that because I haven't got the other one. So, That's fine. so we clearly the Quran, which is the eternal word of Allah, create uncreated and eternal. It comes in the form of a man. So, when it comes in the form of a man, does it then become created, or is it still uncreated? Because it has a consciousness, and it's because you before you said there was his attributes do not have a consciousness. But then it has a consciousness to talk back to Allah. So his own attribute has now become distinct in the form of a man. And it has a And it talks back to him. So is it, uh, does it stop being uncreated? Because if it becomes uncreated, then you're saying the word, eternal word of Allah is created, which then would be an act of kufr. Okay. So, so if you I then respond? say, let me just finish. Okay. If you then say it is still uh, eternal, then you're associating a partner with Allah that was once that because it was originally uncreated it'd be, it'd and it's then it then it becomes in the form of a pale man mm -hmm. because Christian theology we say in the beginning was the word the word was with God and exactly. the word became flesh exactly so then you're saying the eternal word of Allah has now become like a pale man because it has a form it can now have a consciousness that it talks back to Allah okay so, so can you explain so this is this is where actually yes Many people make this mistake when they okay. read a particular hadith oh, right. without understanding its essence, without understanding its message. Okay. Because there are other hadiths where he yeah. says the fasting comes in the form of, form of a man. Have you come across that? Fasting. The fasting, yes. Okay. Okay. What this tells us, the fasting, in, in some it says the two surahs. Yes. I think one of them is surah. It's Al fasting eternal. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm coming to that. Okay. This is where you make a fundamental mistake. Oh, right. The error is this, that in, in its, uh, there's another hadith where it says that two surahs, they will come in the form of a cloud or something like that. Okay. So you see what the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that. Okay. By the way, the one that you read, he said it kept you awake at night no, and during the day. Yes, no. read it again. He says, really, we forgot. <laughs> read it again. Only, the, words, the hadith they that you read. read one part, yeah. <laughs> read the, other part. the thing is that they, 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 they have the Trinity to the back of the mind yeah. when they read this uh, hadith. Let me, let me read it again and I'll show it to yeah, you. Yeah, go on. Read the last bit of it if you don't want to read the whole thing. Any bit more, yeah? Yeah, so, yeah, kept you awake at night and made you. So I was right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You don't read your hadith. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. So this is what happens when you try to interpret the hadith. What kept the man awake at night? His recitation. Yes? yes? yes. What does Allah tell us in the. Uh, sorry, what the Prophet tell us? Mm -hmm. That when you actually read the Quran, you get hasanat. Yes? When you read one letter, Okay. You get 10 hasanat. Yeah. When you read Alif, Lam, Mim, you get 30 hasanat. Yeah. Each letter is 10 hasanat. Yes? Yeah. For the non Arabic speaking people, hasanat is basically the reward you get, yeah. okay. the goodness you get by reciting the Quran. Okay. Yeah. So, what kept him awake at night? The recitation. Yes. So, the recitation is the one which came in the form of a man. 
not the Quran itself. So if you understand the, the message of this uh, hadith, yes, you will understand that this it says, is talking about... It me, says the me, Quran finish, will man. come on the day of resurrection like a pale man, not the recitation. No, because the last bit... What does it say? The Quran. The Quran you see, I'm explaining yes, to you okay, now. What is the last bit? What kept them awake? Yes. What? What kept them away? Okay. The Quran itself. Okay. The Quran. The Quran is what he was reciting. Okay. Just like in that. The wait, wait, does wait. it say the recitation? Because when you speak to Christians about immortality, yes. you go by the strict definition. Let's go by what the text says. No, it doesn't say exactly. recitation. You know. You know why it I says the Quran. Wait, do you know, paper boy? Do you know why I ask the Christians this? Because there are many you Christians see, okay. who are solo scriptura. And these people, they say we will only this, this take is what is in standard. the Bible. No, because he, I've had conversations when we talk about immortality, yeah. he goes by this strict definition. Yeah, when I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me give you the Christian interpretation, yeah, yeah. he says, no, we go by what the text. When <laughs> Muslims say, where did Jesus say I am God? Yeah. They want the strict definition. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, keep yeah, to the text. Let me ask you this. No, let, let me ask you this. When you say the strict definition of immortality, where do you go? We're going on a tangent. No, no, I'm not. You brought this up. You brought it up. You brought it up. Stick to the text. That is a hadith, by the way. It's not the Quran. It doesn't even know that. It says the Quran. That's what I'm saying. Stick to the Quran. But what is the last bit that says? What kept them awake? It says the Quran. No, what kept them awake? The Quran. It says the recitation. No, according to you, it says the recitation. No, according to the text. No, it says. According to the text itself. You see, look. Sometimes you have to read the text and understand it based on the text. Okay. What kept them awake at night? Okay. What the entire Quran was sitting next to him. <laughs> Wake up, buddy! Wait. I want you to sleep. Yeah. Seriously, you like really? This, you know this is the problem. The Christians try to <laughs> employ the same <laughs> mentality, yeah. limited mentality, yeah. by trying to interpret the hadith that we have. Absolutely. Unfortunately, guys like Bob the Builder and guys like Paperboy make the same mistake. Does it say recite? Does it say recite? Wait, 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 if there's a distinction between recitation in the Quran that um, Muhammad made the mistake in his wording, no, 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 no,
What kept them awake? Do you really think it was literally the Quran shaking them, keeping them awake? What was keeping them awake? But clearly, but the Quran, Quran. But clearly, okay. the Quran has taken on consciousness to speak. No, so, no, no, so no, it Quran. can be aware of your recitation. I can interpret meaning onto it. If we can stick you to know the why? text, you know why? And it says you know the why? Quran. Why? Remember earlier yeah. I told you. Okay. If I if I misrepresent your faith yes. about the Trinity and its concept, correct me. Okay. Right now you are yeah. misrepresenting my faith yeah. because. We we yeah, we, 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 we wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute we don't go you, you know as a Muslim as a Muslim we go by the Quran okay. by the Hadith by the and the scholars we go by the Tafsir we go by the Sirah we got loads of scriptures and we got loads sorry loads of uh, Islamic texts can you show me evidence where it says it's the recitation because a Christian will obviously the same Hadith no 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 what kept them awake no, no. at day and night what no, no. Quran I, 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 Quran. It doesn't you say Quran. Quran. I can, no, I can give you the, the Quran come as a form of men to establish the Trinity says. because we have a creed bro does the Bible say for you to believe in the Trinity does the Bible tell you you're saying you're saying you have you're saying you have scholars and tafsir show me the tafsir that interprets that no 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 show me why the Bible says you have to believe in the Trinity because at least in the Quran we say in the Quran Allah says to obey Allah and obey his messenger Okay. And another words in the Quran says that you do not know all the people of the knowledge okay. who are the scholars. So, what, so we have already the Quran telling us okay. that these so people which have authority. Agrees with you. All the scholars. Give me his name. Okay, I'll give you the name. No problem. And then we move on. And then we move on. Let's see. 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 Let
something exists yes, without it. existence. How? How can something you. exist without existence? Oh, how? 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 He Explain that, please. Oh, Hashem. I'm not talking to you. Oh. oh. I'm not talking to you because you're Why not? Nice, you're not worthy. He's not talking to you. Oh, watch your talk. Remember, he said my brain is me. He can't answer the. That's Peter. He can't answer the question. That's what you said. I never said that. Go read. Go watch your video. I never said that. You're lying. Go watch your video. Did you now? Oh, that was Paul, by the way. Thank you, man. Oh, if you want to, next week, then bring, bring a validation if it's taking you too long, that's fine. Because no, until, question, yeah, until we have a, a firm confirmation. Yeah, don't run away, you Christian. Good deeds appear in the form of a man. Okay, this will answer your question. I'll give you the scholars who agree with that uh, as well. By the way, this is a very good website called islamqa.com. Go and look it up if you have any such questions. It normally answers most of the questions okay. for both Muslims and non-Muslims. Okay. It was narrated from Al Bara Ibn Al. And after this, is that the one you read? Yeah. Al Bara Ibn Al. Okay, okay. And after this, we can have a discussion on my topic. You yes, say. yes. Okay. So we have already discussed about the the, the Trinity. We still haven't found the three in one, unfortunately, from the Bible. Okay. Which was uh, let me find you verses. Yeah, please do. Man alayhi, man alayhi. You will never have the opportunity. You will never have the opportunity. Okay, this is. Okay, you wanted the name of the scholar, yeah? So here it is. It was narrated that Burayda, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I heard the Prophet Sallallahu say, the Quran will meet its companions on the day of resurrection when his grave is open for him in the form of a pale man. Okay? It will say to him, do you recognize me? He will say, I do not recognize you. It will say, I am your companion, the Quran, who kept you thirsty on hot days and kept you awake at night. Every merchant benefits from his business and today you will benefit from your good deeds. Benefit from what? Your good deeds. Okay? He will be given dominion in his right hand and eternity in his left. And there will be and there will be uh, and then he'll be placed on, and there will be placed on his head a crown of dignity and his parents will be clothed with the priceless garments the like of which have never been seen in the world they will say why have we been given the cl uh, why have we been clothed with this it will be said because your son used to recite the quran that comes the recitation okay then it will be said to him recite and ascend in the degrees of paradise and he will continue to ascend so long as he recites either at a fast pace or a slow pace. Narrated by Ahmad in Al Musnad and Ibn Majah in Al Sunan. So these are the different hadiths, which is the same thing. So this is another hadith which I gave you, again from Al, Al Musnad, where it talks about the recitation, it talks about the good deeds, okay. and this is what takes the form of a man. If you want, read it again. You can read that the bit where he said it's the. The citation that comes in. Yeah, the they ask. Then. They ask the question. Yeah. What is it that uh, we are, we have been actually clothed with? And he says, they will say, why have we been clothed with this? It will be said, because your son used to recite the Quran. But we said that you're saying the recitation comes in the form of a man. No, the good deeds no, no, come in the form of a man. The recitation is what gives but him the good deeds. The good deeds come in the form of a man. Right, says, now shall we says, move on says, to the next topic? It says the Quran will come in the form of a, of man. a man. Now you're saying it's the no, deeds. No, it says, it said that as well at the beginning. He's not paying attention as usual. Dude, listen, no, that's no, no. normal. <laughs> it's your presentation. All right, read it again. No, you read it now. No, okay. I'm, I don't get yeah, the Quran will meet its companion. Yeah. On the yeah. day of resurrection. Okay. Okay. Alhamdulillah, we are reading the hadith okay. of the Prophet. Okay. It will say, Do you recognize me? Okay. He will say, I do not recognize you. It will say, I am your companion, the Quran, who kept you thirsty on hot days and well kept you awake at night. You understand now? So, did you Every, get it now? Let him finish. Let him finish. Every merchant benefits from his business, and today you will benefit from your good deeds. He will be given dominion in his right hand and eternity in his left, and there will be placed on his head. The crown of dignity and his parents will be clothed with priceless garments like that which has never been seen in the world. They will say, Have we 
been quoted saying, because your son used to recite the Quran, and you said to him, recite and ascend in the Quran, in the degrees of paradise, and you continue to ascend as long as he either at fast pace or slow pace. Okay. So, that's very clear, right? So, so there are three things you noted. Know the first bit, it talks about the Quran coming in the form of a pale man. Yeah. Then he says that every, every, uh, 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 every person benefits from the business. And you will benefit from your, let's see if he remembers. Go you remember from your Go good deeds. Okay. Okay. So even if I read this like a hundred times, this is something that will not settle unless and until you understand that this hadith okay. clearly tells you that it is a good deed from the recitation which takes the form okay. of a man. Let, let's go through it again. Not the Quran itself. Uh, read, look, he will keep repeating no, 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 himself. No, no. Even though, <laughs> because what, this is okay. what I call cognitive dissonance. Doesn't matter how many times you repeat. Because it's already settled in there, it's very difficult to take it out unless you come with a sincere heart. With truthful, <laughs> with, <laughs> with sincerity. Of course it comes to me as well. And that's the reason I say, you know, Bob the Builder brought this up the same thing. And he made the same mistake. If the Quran is eternal and the Quran can take the form of a man, why do you guys dispute Jesus took the form of a man, my God took the form of a man? Because to us, we don't worship the Quran unlike you guys who worship the man, God, Jesus. Yes, you believe in human sacrifice, we don't. Our Allah is taking the Quran without the human sacrifice. What is the Quran? 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 No, 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 no. What's the Quran then? Your point is that the recitation will account for the person. Not the good deeds, not the recitation. Will come in the form of a man. But it says the Quran, not the good deeds. Forget it, man. You know, you won't understand. Either you go and learn this. He said he's not human. He said no human. What is the human? He just said no sacrifice. If there's a sacrifice, human sacrifice. That's what I'm he never said that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what you said. Was a very good yeah, I know about the fasting. No, no, this is very important. Nah. Nah. The fasting can turn. Nah. Oh, no, no, no. What we're saying. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. What we're saying. Fasting can turn into the form of a man. I have no disagreement with that. We're talking about the Quran and the recitation. We're talking about the Quran and the recitation. You're very calm until now. What happened? We're talking about the Quran and the recitation. I know, but calm down. Okay, you see earlier, actually I made this point already, but I didn't the, find the hadith. The but like you said that. He says, you mentioned it says earlier. This is, I said I have no issue with that. that. It's yeah. a very simple thing. It's a very small one. Look, so I won't waste your time much. Abdullah ibn Amr reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, fasting and the Quran will intercede for the servant on the day of resurrection. Fasting will say, O oh Lord, I prevented him wow. from food and drink during fasting the day, so let me intercede for him. The Quran will say, Oh Lord, I prevented him from sleeping during the night, so let me intercede for him. Thus they will both intercede for him. Now in both cases we know, we know that the man remained awake during the day and night. He was busy doing some good deeds. In the case of fasting, he remained hungry and thirsty. In the case of reciting the Quran, he remained awake during the day and night when he was reciting. In both the cases, it was a good deeds which will come in the form of a man. So it is Jay, very simple to understand to Jay, this. I do not understand so, why the Christians so, wait, don't wait, understand. Wait, wait, let me ask you this question. He said, wait, 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 let me ask you. He said, he said, he said, each recite, he said, each recite, each person. So there could be like two billion. Doesn't matter how many. Allah can manage that. Is that what the text is saying? Allah can manage that. This one, this hadith as well. There's yes. another hadith. Okay. Which if you, what you understood from it, that the fasting will intercede, will come in the dirt and yes. will speak, will have a speech. Okay. So if the, we have 1.8 billion Muslims yes. now worldwide, okay. alhamdulillah, and they're increasing by the way. Okay. Okay. Alhamdulillah. All right. And inshallah, soon is going to be dominating, yeah, which is another thing. Inshallah. We're going to dominate, inshallah. So anyway, the point is yes. that that <laughs> that the fasting. Yes. You can see the numbers of those ones. If okay. they are all fasting. That all of those fasting of these ones, they're gonna come and intercede for them. Okay. Yes. So now let me ask you: Is there a word for recitation? What? Is there a word for recitation? In Actually, Arabic? the word Quran, it comes from the word Qara. Qara. And the word Qira means to recite. Okay. So the Quran itself, the Quran itself, is the Quran the itself has the etymology from the word to recite. Anything else? So you're telling me <laughs> yes, that when it says the Quran will come, how many times are you gonna repeat this? <laughs> there's, there's a, well, I'm, I'm sorry for him. I'm, I'm just. Clarifying yeah, okay. the recitation of the Quran, which means the good deeds will come, just like fasting as a good deed will come. Simple as that. Well. For all the pale man. Yeah. Okay, listen. Yeah, this, is, the, this is a Suyuti. Okay, Suyuti, okay. one of the scholars right. in Islam. He said this: I have not found anything in the Sahih Sunnah to suggest that a man's righteousness, righteous deeds, will appear in the form of a man in the grave, except in these two hadiths.
the hadith we read to you. Okay. Okay, so it is a good deeds which come in the form of a man. So I gave you a scholar, I gave you more than one hadith. Okay, now what more you want? So the Quran say, becomes the man, right? Okay. Let him answer. The Quran becomes the man, yes? Let him answer. Okay. Okay. Read the text one more time. What, 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 forget it. You're just wasting time. Because, because, you're wasting because time. Because the Quran because is very clear what the text is That's saying. Yes, it is clear. Yeah, exactly. One the deeds come in the form of a man. Okay, read it again. I want to read it again. I read it two times. You read it one time, and you still have a problem. Well, actually, the people at home will decide. You know what? Actually, with your Allah. Look, look. What about them? I think the people at home will already decide because we have done this three times now. I'll tell you what. When you go home, watch the videos, rewind it as many times as you want. And what then you make up them. your mind, okay? One plus one plus and by the way, if you want, I can was, give you the... Wait, 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 you're telling me one plus Who? one, but in the beginning you had the word which was divine and uncreated and you had Allah which was divine That's and uncreated. That's two uncreated beings. That's one plus one. Sorry, sorry, which word did we have? Which one? You had Allah. You had the Allah. Which one? You had the Quran. You had the eternal word of Allah. Wait a minute, which was uncreated and eternal. Which one? Which one? The Lamb of Allah. Okay, listen. The Lamb of Allah. Listen, wait, listen. The Lamb of Allah. Which one? 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 Which so you the have speech of Allah, one divine yes. Allah, and you have and created Allah, and you have you have the, this is, His word, no, this which is, is divine, and created as well. And we don't, we don't believe it's the, the, the word of God. So is it created? No, it's not. Oh, it's not holy. No, it's, 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 uncreated. it's uncreated. It's uncreated. So it's eternal. It's so you have two eternal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Allah, Allah and His word. The yes, words of Allah. That's what I'm the words of Allah. No, no. The words of Allah. Do Allah. The, the words speech, of Allah, the of Allah. The, or the speech of Allah, yes. we don't say okay. they are like the mercy of Allah. The mercy of God, is it eternal? I'm asking you, 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 you know, what, the mercy. Allah has no mercy. So, has no mercy? No. Okay, the, your God has a mercy. Yes. Okay. Is that eternal? Is his mercy eternal? Huh? Is that eternal? Uh -huh. is, it, is what eternal? It's mercy. It's mercy. <laughs> it's mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it eternal? You tell me. I'm asking you. You said your God has mercy. You have said your God has mercy. You said your God has mercy. You said your God has mercy. So tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Simon, wait. Now let me answer. No, no, answer. I didn't say it was eternal. No, we are asking you. We are asking you. We are not saying. We are not saying you said it's eternal. The question to you. Look, you said Allah doesn't have mercy. Your God has mercy. Then the Sheikh asked you, is that mercy? Okay. Which your God has, is that eternal? Yes. He so it's answer. always. He can answer without you. Answer. Yes. Something more. Do you agree? Yeah, is, is that it, eternal? Is it eternal? Yes. Yes. Don't worry. Is this, his mercy is something he can display. So no. So no. Is it is eternal? It, we don't. Yes. We have is it eternal? Simple question, bro. Is it eternal? Yes. Yes. If you want to call it eternal. No, I'm asking you. Eternal. Don't tell me what I can call don't it. Tell me what I say. What you use the word eternal. Yes. And by the way, you know you said the word no, no, is wait, eternal. Wait, wait. The word I, of God is eternal. I said Allah is not merciful. Yes. I didn't say. Let alone. Let alone. Listen. We're not discussing about Allah. He's not merciful. No, no. If you're not merciful, we're not talking about our God. We're talking about your God. I'm talking about eternal. Your God. You're saying is merciful. Is that is that merciful? Or mercy. The nature of his is that eternal. Yes. Did he always exist with him? Yes. He's had always had the ability to express mercy. But did he always express it? Yes. He doesn't no. have to. He didn't always express it. Doesn't no. have to. Okay. Does that make him merciful since eternity, even though he didn't express it? Yes. He has the ability. I've not said made the claim that his uh, mercy is eternal. No, no. Was he always merciful? <laughs> yes. He has the ability because God is love. So through his love, when he has a creation, for example, to display mercy, he has the ability to display yes. that mercy. Yeah, but would you the call him? It's, an, it's an ability to do something. Yes. No, no, I'm not asking you it's whether he had the ability or not. Yes. I'm asking you, mercy, was his mercy, nature... Mercy is an action. Is mercy is, not, an, is not it a nature? Uh, it's an action. Okay. Is it mercy a nature? Action. Listen, listen. Action. So if listen, I, if I told you, you have a, you have a merciful... In, uh, sorry, you have a merciful and a kind nature. Is that wrong to say? You could say as a human, but so. it doesn't mean... Let me, listen. It, so human can have a merciful it, nature. God cannot. It, listen. You can say it to someone, but it doesn't what's, mean what's it's their actual name. He says he's a paper boy. What, 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 yes. What's your name? A paper boy. Paper I don't boy. know why they're yeah. afraid to tell the name. I know. No problem. I don't care. What, what, whatever you want to name well, it. So. But my point, yes. my point is that we have discussed with many Christian people here, and yes. we know they are. Unfortunately, that we find they are ingenuine people generally. Okay. That's what. But I, I assume that you are genuinely came to know. Yeah. So us, as us believers, as Muslims, okay. us, we believe yes. the speech of God or the words of God yes. is linked to His will. Means, okay. means is his exactly, will. yeah, exactly. But His will is not merciful. Then. Let me finish. Let me Hold finish. on. You'll understand. Uh, uh, yeah, let, I'm talking about us now. Okay. You cannot describe us. You cannot dictate okay. what we should do. What we okay. should do. What we should believe. Yeah. Yeah, but the Quran says Allah wills and he... he, he okay, yeah, that's my point. Yeah. So, so that's why, he similarly, guides guides. similarly, his speech, yeah. his speech is related to his will. Now, 
in his eternal as as his as eternal yes. uh, uh, you know being tabarak wa ta'ala as him now he has he is able to speak whenever he wants yeah yeah which means when he say something is attached to his will when okay. he say something yeah it is his will okay. similarly to his mercy okay you see the point so that's why we don't say it's exactly when you say okay when you, when you got you when you stuck to say is his mercy is eternal or not it's the same thing whenever he wish because it is as him as god yeah is merciful in, in his nature yeah but in the same time he could encompass someone with his mercy can you describe his mercy is his yeah. word created no, no. or uncreated can you describe yeah. Allah's mercy is it created is or uncreated now, uh, there is always uh, exist. You know, you're, 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 there is always okay, exist. Yeah, yeah. No, please. Okay. There is always exist. Yeah. Can he see the, 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 Wait, can you just describe what, what Alice can, 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 can you describe what Alice always exists? Can you describe what Alice So, can you just describe what Alice I know what I'm about to discuss with you. We know, we know that many of them are ingenuine people. So, okay. that's my point. And we, we are new to the park, yeah, yeah. and that's why we're trying to educate you about our. our can you describe Alice's mercy? Like, no. I'm just confused about Alice's mercy. Allah's mercy. Now, here, for us, for example, as us, from His mercy, yeah. that we are living here, we eat, we eat from His sustain. Okay. Yeah? He sustains us, okay. and not just that, and from his mercy as well, he sent for us messengers, like us, people from us, human okay. beings. Those came to guide us to the right path and to show us the truth. Okay. Since Noah, since Abraham, since Moses, since Isa, السلام, and since Muhammad, all of them, they came for that message. Now, my point is, this is, this is to show the signs of his mercy, tabarak wa ta'ala. And the signs of his mercy, as the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, from his mercy, that from his mercy, is one percent of his mercy came into this universe. One percent. Okay. Yeah. So this one percent that makes you know the animal, the creature, to allow their babies to suckle to suckle their breast to survive from his mercy. So that's what we say. He is merciful. Now, and he left, and he left ninety-nine percent of his mercy for the day of judgment. For those ones who believe, okay. and lift it for those ones who believe. Can I just ask you on that, on, on that, on that mercy? Because you're talking about the baby su suckling. So I just want to give you a hadith, and I just want to ask your interpretation. So, so you start becoming ingenuous, but let's see. No, no, yeah. Is that so a different topic? Is that, yeah, I just have a quick question. No, 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 so we need to finish this topic now. Yes, but and you then, went on to Allah's no, mercy. No, so, you, no, 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 you asked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked me yeah. after yeah. you were. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to make one tangent and move we'll on to the point. Paper yeah. boy. I just want one point. Paper paper boy. After you were incapable to answer about your, the mercy of your God, I answered you about the mercy of my God. I said, so it's, paper boy, I said my that mercy is, is something that God can display. It's, an, it's not. Uh, uh, so it's not in his nature. Why would it? Would you mean nature? So his nature is not merciful. What? He has the ability to express I'm mercy. You. So it's his nature is merciful or not? But I'm just confused now. You confused me now. Look, no, God no, is wait. merciful, <laughs> but it's a matter wait, of wait, showing wait, his wait, mercy or not. Okay, okay. He shows mercy. Let me just ask you. He shows. Let me just ask you. Let me just shake. But you're talking to me now. One question. One question. You're talking now. I just want you to explain this to me. And then I'm going to go back to Hashim's point. Just because we're on a very funny shake. Because we're just quickly on the subject of mercy, then we'll go back to the point. So it says. So this is from... No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, I don't mind, I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind to answer your question. But let's finish one by one. Okay. So you're asking me... Yeah, let's finish one by one. Okay. Let's finish one by one. 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 let us the word was with God, yeah? Yes. That's what he said. That's yes. what he said. Okay. The word was God and the word. Okay, fine. So my question is to you, is the Bible word of God? It's a written word of yes. God. The written. Uh, uh, you see, it's, 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 it's not the verbatim word of God, but it's the word of, we would call it the word of God. So is it the word of God or not? It's written by man. You it's by yes, no. It's a written word of God. Yeah. yeah. Written. Is it eternal? No. That's the same thing. So your you definition see of the word of God. So the definition that you came to say about us, the same you know, you know, but You see how it? So when you claim that the word of God Bible is eternal, you know where yeah, the word of God is eternal. Now actually, it's very simple. The Bible is the word of God is not eternal. Listen, how we, we deal with it? Yeah, but we we classify it differently because you say the Quran was 
given to Jibril then to Muhammad yeah. so it was directly from the mouth of Allah it was written where is the the Bible is the account of what do you mean directly from the mouth of Allah you mean the speech of Allah? We don't yeah, say we don't say God has a mouth. You know, you know, okay. you know. One yeah, but Allah has wait, eyes. Wait, yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. He no. Lost. He, don't lost. Try to, he has two right hands. Don't try to enter from eyes. He has two right hands. Yes. And he lost. That means. Wait, wait, wait. So, if he has a face. Yes. He has eyes. That's two, two, two hands. Two hands. Wait, wait. Yeah. That's it doesn't matter. And two right hands. He has fingers. He has. He has fingers. Hold on, hold on. We're, and we're going off time. No, 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 it's good. We are going off topic now. We're going off topic. This describes a man. Well, no. Shall I show you where okay, you're making the He has a body. <laughs> okay. You has two, he has two right hands. Okay. Two right hands. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, ask How do you know he's a body? body. That's anthropomorphizing. No, uh, no okay. it's not. <laughs> it is. Okay. Do you have hands? Yes. Do you have legs? Yes. Do you have eyes? Yes. So the living does the same thing. I have a body. An elephant has a body. Has a body. So therefore, Allah has a body. So exactly. No, no. Are you the elephant? You are the elephant. The elephant has eyes. The elephant has legs. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have wait, wait, legs wait, wait. and eyes? Uh, wait, wait. Does that mean uh, you are? It doesn't have to. Mine doesn't have we, to look like the elephant. We believe. Ah, yes. yes. So that's Allah, our point. Yes. It doesn't matter if Allah has, but he has physical hands. No, no, no. Hold on. He has a physical say, foot. Hold on. Hold on. When you say physical, a physical face. What makes you think? I am a physical. What means what? What do you mean by physical? That's another point. Means what? It has shape. That shape and form. It has a shape. We say. We say because Allah. Descends to the lowest oh, heaven, heaven every down. night. Yeah. So that well, we means say it, he says, like, he says in the Quran, like, like, he sits on a throne. He, he sits ascend. on a throne. So oh, therefore, Allah has the body. Oh. Okay, okay, get out, get out. You know the the place where we started this conversation yes. Yes. is because you were somehow trying we to portray image. that the word of God, the word the word of Allah. How are they going to see him at the in heaven? Where this if conversation started, how much are we going to say him then? It doesn't make sense. Well, he said he doesn't have image. You were saying somehow that the Quran is eternal. Did I say he doesn't have image? I said he has image. No, you said he didn't. I said he has image. You said next. I said he has image. Does he sit down or not? No, I said no. Does he sit on throne? No. Just leave. He settled on the floor. So where this conversation started is because you were somehow implying that the word of Allah, the Quran, is similar to like the word of God, like Jesus. Okay. So that is how it started. You see, we say as Muslims yeah. that the Quran is the expression of the knowledge of Allah. Yes? We do not say it is Allah. Okay. We do not say we worship the Quran. I didn't say that. Wait. But contrast that with the Christian word of God, okay. which is Jesus. Okay. You say Jesus is the expression of God or the word of God yeah. on earth, which you worship, which has a separate will, Okay, yeah. and which sorry, which has the will of God, and which you worship as God. Yes, you see the two different distinctions. Mm -hmm. One is an expression of the knowledge of God, the Quran. The other is expression of God in the form of the in the form of a human being, yeah. Jesus. Right. One, the Quran we do not worship. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you worship. Mm -hmm. The Quran doesn't have a mind of its own. Okay, Jesus had a mind of mind of his own. Two distinct things. The other thing is this: when you say that the speech of Allah is eternal. We have no issue with that. But you see, you somehow Bro, dist distinguish there. that the speech of Allah from Allah. When you say the Quran is eternal, Allah is eternal. You do not understand that the speech of Allah is an expression, which and the Quran is basically sorry. The Quran is an expression of the speech of Allah. But is an expression created, brother? He an says Allah created. does not sit on a throne. But there's a hadith I found. He says, "Can I read it out?" Yeah. 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 So, where are we going according to, to tangent? Abu Harura said, said, "Abu Harura." Yeah. Abu Harura. <laughs> the, the, prophet, the prophet said, "The other thing is that Allah, the exalted descends the, Quran the lower is heaven speech. and has God in what? every heaven a throne. Therefore, wherever he descends does to the heaven, he sits on his throne." But you see, Jesus had a mind so on his own. Say, does it say that? Yes. You, you're lying. Shake, shake. Ignore it. We're having one conversation. I just said it. He'll keep talking to you if you look at it. Yeah, I know. Just ignore him. Don't lie. Sheikh, don't lie. It says there, yeah? Allah sits on throne. Okay. So at the end of the day, you see, you cannot compare speech to a person like I told you earlier. I can, you can say his speech is better than the other person's speech. But no, you cannot say your speech is better than you. That would be absurd. You compare like to like. You do not compare yourself as a person to your speech. You do. But you see, you can compare, in your case, Jesus whom you worship. Yes. Yes, as God, to God, that you worship Jesus, you worship God. And, and, and I will leave you something. Wait, That's wait, the Quran. Okay, the Quran wait, is a. Said, is not wait, something wait, wait, which is. You want, to, you want to ask a question, by the way. Listen, yes. because I asked, I told you, and I promised you that yes. if you want to ask a question, I have no problem. Okay. Ask your question. Okay. Because we were talking about 
um, Allah's mercy and I asked you what his mercy was yeah, and okay. you're talking about the suckling of your child yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to go to... I said these are signs of his mercy. Yeah, so I was going to go to Sunan Ibn Majah. So it says, it was narrated that Aisha, the mother of believers, and that's just the reference. So it says... Let me just read the Arabic, the other side of the Arabic one. Or do you want to read it out loud? Yeah, I'll do that inshallah. In Arabic, you understand it? No, he's going to read it out loud in English. وهم في أصلاب آبائهم وخلق النار أهلا خلقهم لها وهم في أصلاب آبائهم كيف؟ yes. Yes. So, so it says the messenger of Allah was called to the funeral of a child from amongst Ansar. I said, O oh, messenger of Allah, glad tidings for him. He is one of the little birds of paradise who never did evil or reached the age of doing evil, i.e. the age of accountability. He said, it may not be so, Aisha, for Allah created people for paradise. He created them for it when they were still in their father's loins. And he has created for people of hell, he created them for when they were still in their father's loins. So I'm asking you, where is the mercy in creating someone for, for, for hell whilst they were still in their father's loins? The yeah, person didn't will. even have a choice to go to hell. Taking Allah has decreed. Okay. <laughs> Explain it to him. You're doing it again, paper boy. You're taking okay. everything literally. Okay. Literally. Are you a literalist? Okay, okay. he's going to explain. All right. okay. Now, he, he, he we need to understand We need to understand the few things, yeah? Yes. The understanding of the hadith of the hellfire and, and the jinnah or the paradise, yes. it doesn't come just only to take it literally by, by itself. It's a decree which of means, Allah. Which means we need to know a few things about it. That firstly, that Allah Azzawajal has told us as yes. well, that Allah will punish no one yes. yeah, until he sent the messenger. Alhamdulillah. No one will be punished. No one will be put in, put in the hellfire for punishment until Allah Azzawajal, until he gives the right message. Yeah? Now, either in this life we'll get the right message, okay. or in the hereafter. Okay. And that's, this, is the, this is what happens now. Now, when the people in the Day of Judgment who didn't get the message from God, okay. who didn't get the message, they have no, they didn't see, they didn't hear about Islam, they never yes. heard about Islam, they didn't know anything about Islam. Yeah? This phone. So, in the Day of Judgment, Allah will test them. There is another hadith, by the way, if you want to check it. In, in a, there is a different narration that Allah Azza will test them in the day of judgment. Okay. Yeah? And from his eternal knowledge, Allah Azza wa as you know, Allah, you know, you believe that God has eternal knowledge. Yeah? From his eternal knowledge, we know the decision of the people. Exactly. Yeah? He knows the future. And we we'll know what will happen. And he knows when you go out from the park here, what will happen to you. Okay. Yeah? Simple as that. But so, but, but, so, but, that. but so that's text, why. But the text says he has created them for hell. While no, they're in no, the father's loins, yeah, so they're always destined for hell. Th that's no, my point. That's, he knows the future. That's he what knows he means it means all these the decree of Allah, of Allah. The All of, Allah. of these ones, which is related to the decree of Allah Azza okay. Jal. Yeah. All of them is. Now we need to know it. It comes with understanding of different hadith. Okay. In Islam. Okay. And by the way, but for you to know, for you to know, okay. you know why people like ISIS are misguided. Mm -hmm. or people like many, many, many groups of Muslims literally well, because Haram. they took. They took one sentence from the Quran or the Sunnah okay. and they just implemented it and they just ignore all the, the other okay. all the yeah, context yeah, yeah. and other but things which is related to it. Okay. So similarly, yes. all the decree of Allah Azza, this related to his knowledge. Okay. Do you believe so, God is well, God knows the future? Yes. Do okay. you believe God knows who is going to go to hell and heaven? Yes. So Does that, that mean that he he that, somehow why did he did create, not create them? Why did he create them then? Did he create if he them? knows that they're gonna go to hell fire. The people who are going them? to go to hell, did he create them? Knowing that they will go to hell fire? He gave them the free will to. Ah. But he knows the foreknowledge. Did, 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 Allah, did Allah not give the people free will? Okay, uh, let me give you a, uh, another hadith to answer that. Okay. So did I answer that? Wait, by the way, what was wait, the topic you wanted to discuss? Wait, I discussed the Trinity. That, yeah. the what was your topic? Let me just finish this. You failed to show us the Trinity wait. from the Bible. So, so this is from Bukhari. I know, I know. We're kind of going to tangent. That's fine. Off tangent means. But by the way, I will tell you something. My 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 sincere Let me just read this. Okay, read it. Because you keep interrupting me. Let me just read this. Because he doesn't give me a chance. Let me just read this. Yeah, but every time I want to read something, he gives you a chance. Come on. Yeah, I know. But Shay, let me just read this. I will. I will listen to you. But I want you to listen to my advice. Okay. My sincere advice to you: Don't be ingenuous like that. Of course. Yeah. That's what. That's my advice. I'm here to ask you for clarification. So I will. I will clarify. As long as we know that you are that you are a genuine person. I'm genuine. Not like some some idiot people who just here I'm imposing their own. You see. So this is Bukhari. It says narrated from Abu Huraira. The Prophet said Moses argued with Adam and said to him, Adam, you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin, and thus made them miserable. Adam replied, O oh Moses, you are the one whom Allah selected for His message yes. and for His direct talk. Yet you blame me for a thing which Allah had ordained for me before he created me. Allah's messenger said, 
Adam overcame Moses by this argument. Sure. So, what is this text saying? Okay. Can you the, explain this text? The, uh, the, I'm not going to interpret my meaning, understanding. It. You can uh, <laughs> finally before you can, no no before yeah, he, yeah, he, okay. he, he, he me. Up, I will ask you. I will ask you. Yes. I will answer you in the same as what you know. Okay. All right. Did now the question is when when God created Adam according to what you believe? Yes. Did he know he's going to sin? By Adam saying he made him sin. Oh, uh, but yes, he would have known. He knows. Yes. So he knows that he's going to sin. Yes. Yes. So God knows he is going to sin. Yes. Does does your Lord love the sins? No. Why did he create someone to sin? I don't know. So would it, would a God that makes <laughs> someone sin be like a bad no, God? No, no, hold on a second. Is that no? That's my point. Is that your point? I'm just asking. Wasn't your question? Did, 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 did wasn't that the reason you said Allah is not merciful? So we said, that's exactly I, what you said. We're asking. We're saying to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're saying to you again. I'm just keep repeating this now here. Now, when you said that God doesn't love the sins, yes. Yes. Okay, if he doesn't love the sins, and he knows Adam's gonna sin, why did he make Adam to sin? Yeah. Why did he not stop him? Why, exactly. why he didn't make him pure person which doesn't sin? So you're saying? I'm asking you. I'm, yeah, not, I'm just question. asking you for you to to get something on a common ground. Me and you. Okay, so repeat the question again. So, now if God created Adam, yeah. as we both agree, with the potential yes. to sin, and with the potential, okay, to with sin. the potential to sin. So if he knows that he's gonna sin, yeah. why he didn't make Adam? Pure person, which doesn't sin. No so choice. wait, wait. So you're saying that Allah? No, no I'm not what? talking about Allah. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait. Let me, let me. I'm, I'm just you. trying to clarify the question. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're God. trying to say that Adam had the free will to sin, but yeah. Allah had the foreknowledge that he would sin, but Allah didn't directly make him sin. No, no, no. no. He's I'm, asking you. Why I'm not why asking not? about my faith. Yeah. I'm asking about what you believe. I'm not so asking. No, I'm just, he's yeah. asking you why did He's asking you why did God not create Adam? We need in a, in a nature where he could not sin at all. But he said he was going to comment on this hadith. We, no, okay, Sorry. we'll comment. We need yeah. to have before we comment on this hadith. We should have kind of common yes. yeah. ground. This is okay. the Okay, but, uh, but listen, listen. I'm just trying to understand first that <laughs> whether you're saying Allah made Adam sin or okay. Adam sinned by his, his okay. own will. That's yeah. what I want so to In the Quran, by the way, yes. in the Quran, Allah repeated again and again and again, Adam Rabbu Allah Azza has said that Adam he has sinned, Allah he disobeyed Allah. Yes. So Allah so repeated he, in the Quran, so Adam disobeyed Allah. So Allah disobeyed him. No, I'm Adam, sorry, so Adam, Adam, Adam disobeyed Adam, Allah Adam yes. without Allah. Allah's intervention. No, hold on a second. By his free will. By his free will. Okay. Free will. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, the point is yes. that the meaning of this that Allah that has created Adam yes. with the nature of committing sin. Ah, okay. Otherwise, I see. There is what's the point of the test? Okay. So now do let's you agree go. With that? Let's go to. Do you agree? Do you agree with that? Let me just read something. Yes. Musnad, Musnad ibn Amr. No, listen here. I answered this question. Now you. Well, now you bring. No, no, it's the same hadith in a different. No, so listen. Let him read the point. You make your point. Let me make Let him read it. I just want to make this point. Listen, listen, listen. 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 And then we could discuss all the questions. But my point okay. is to you, as long as you are, yes. that I could, you are sincere in your questions. Yes. Now, if I feel, in a way or another, okay. that you are insincere, I yes. don't have to answer your question. Okay. Simple as that. Now, I answered this question. And we, me and you, yes. we agreed you said it that was Adam's Adam, free will. Now, I asked you the question which you didn't answer. Yeah. Yeah. Why did God create people when he could have created them good? Yeah, for example, why did he, why he didn't create Adam? Ability to someone, without, you know, someone pure, like angel. Yeah. Doesn't it make sense? Why because, he didn't do that? Because God wanted uh, his creation to know his love. So he gave him free will to do as they please. He didn't want uh, robots. So, so he gave so him free will. To, to, sorry, he wanted... The people didn't know his love. The, the, he at, wanted at the expense of them sinning. He gave and at the, at he the gave, risk of them he, going to he, hellfire. He gave, How is that he, love? He gave, he gave, he gave people is that, that which is forced. A father does not force his children to love them. No, but to so, Musnad ibn Ahmed. And just, can I just want to read Ibn Ahmed? Ibn Majah. Or Ibn Majah. Ibn, Ibn, Hanbal, Hanbal. Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Yeah. So it says, Sahih because of corroborated evidence and it's it's not is daif so i'm not trying to trick you anything Hold on, that, that's yeah. it i mean but wait let, let, but let me read this it says allah it says allah created adam then he passed his right hand over his loins and brought forth from him his offspring and said i have created these for paradise and they will do the deeds of the people of paradise he then passed over his loins. Can, you, can, wait, can we pause? Can we pause? Wait, let me just can finish. Can we pause? Can we pause? You're finished. Can we pause in this? Yes. They will do the deeds of the people of paradise. Yes. yes. 
willingly or unwillingly? Or well, well, let's just read the rest. Okay, yeah. yes. Then it says, he, he passed his hand over the lines and brought forth from his offspring and said, I have created these for hell and they will do the deeds of the people of hell. A man said, O messenger of Allah, why then should we strive? The messenger of Allah said, when Allah creates a person for paradise, he causes him to do the deeds of the people of paradise until he dies. Uh, doing one of the deeds of the people of paradise and is admitted to paradise thereby. And when he creates a person for hell, he causes the, him to do the deeds of the people of hell until he dies. Uh, doing one of the deeds of the people of hell and is admitted to hell thereby. Okay. So, so what fault. do we now understand from this? Okay. Now, going this back, is Daif, yeah? Going back No, no, it says, it says, it says, it says, yeah, it says Sahih because of corroborated evidence. Yeah, okay. And it's, uh, it's Nad is Daif. So yeah. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm yeah, no, no, giving no. you the... You yeah. showed, you showed you're, you're a genuine person. Okay. Yes. And I respect you and I, I would love to discuss you again and again. Yeah? Okay. So let's, let's me interpret this, yeah? Okay. Now, again, all these, again, I, I'm keep repeating this. I'm trying to understand this. Okay. All these, the decree of Allah, yes, yeah, which is related to us. Again, Allah said clearly that that statement in the Quran is a key to know yeah. what is it. Okay. So Allah said, we will be not punish no one, okay. no one, mm -hmm. yeah, until we send the messenger. Simple as that. That's clear. Which means, uh, and I'm just getting to you. Which okay. means this this ayah, we need to implement it in every single place. Yes. Similarly, no one will enter paradise until they fulfill their duties to Allah. Simple as that. Okay. So all of these things, you have to know, that's a, that's a key yes, for us to know all of the, all of the verses in the Quran or the hadith which is related to the decree of Allah. Simple as that. Okay. Now, you said people who have created things, now, and created people, yes. and Allah Azzawajal will make causes for them to do the people of the, of, of the paradise yes. and then there. Yes. Now the question is, and to you, you yourself, mm -hmm. yeah, there are things cause you to do bad things and there are things cause you to do good things, isn't okay. it? Yes. Both of them are available. Okay. Yeah? Now, when you choose the good and the bad, Yes. Yeah? Now, it is your own free choice. Yes? Free choice, yes. Now, if you cho if Now, that's the question. The cause is here. Yes. That means Allah Azzawajal has made it available. Um, Simple as that. So, Allah, so Allah made... Oh, yeah. The availability. If there is... For example, yes. if there is no alcohol here, yes. for, for us as Muslims, we believe alcohol is haram, it's not allowed. Okay. So if there is no alcohol, okay. how Allah will tell us, don't drink alcohol. Okay. Yeah? So the point is, Allah Azzawajal, from his, from his knowledge yes. and from his wisdom, that made these causes available for both. Okay. Now, and that's why Allah, there is another verse ex explaining this hadith. Okay. Yeah? In the Quran, Allah said in the Quran, إِنَّا هَدَيْنَاهُ السَّبِيلَ إِمَّا شَاكِرًا وَإِمَّا كفر. We have showed him the guidance. Okay. He's either thankful yeah. or he's evil disbeliever. Simple one of them. Okay. Which means the two choices are available. Okay. And that's what two means well, that's what means okay. Allah will make causes for both, both of them. Okay. And that's why Allah knows from his eternal knowledge that people they're gonna choose the good choices. Ah, and people okay. they're gonna choose the bad choices, they're gonna go to in front. People who choose the good choices, they're gonna go to the now we are done with this. Now it's my turn to question. Last one. No, last my point. Turn, no, 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 because no, I disagree with I disagree with what you say. That's not fair. No, I disagree with what I'm gonna provide evidence. That's not fair. I'm gonna because I disagree with what he's saying. No, no, that's not no, no, fair. But I have to that's challenge what you said though. This is not fair. But I have to challenge what you said. No, but this is not fair. This is the last point. I disagree with what you said. It's from the Quran. Even though I don't like you know the names, I believe that you know I wish this I disagree with what you say and I'm I'm going to say, tell you why. Okay, you are educating me about Islam. Okay, so you are educating me about my religion. Me, let me, let me pro provide. It. Are you educating me? That's okay, I'm really educating you. In my Islam, <laughs> in my faith. Wait, look. Okay, so in the Quran, 2:33, it says, "Then Adam received from his Lord some words, and he accepted his repentance. Indeed, it is he who is accepting of repentance, the merciful." So now I went to the Tafsir. The Tafsir from Ibn Kafir says, "Then Adam received from his Lord words." Adam said, O oh Lord, did you not create me with your own hands? He said, yes. He said, and blow life into me. He said, yes. He said, and when I sneezed, you said, may Allah grant you his mercy. Yes. Does not your mercy precede your anger? He was told, yes. Adam said, and you destined me to commit this evil act. He was told, yes. He said, if I repent and you will send me back to paradise, Allah said, yes. So why is Adam yeah. saying, and you destined me 
to commit this evil act and he was told yes. Okay. He didn't say it was his free will. So okay. can you explain that? It's the answer in the same, in the yes. same context. I'm asking okay. you, why Adam didn't complain to Allah, you destined me to commit sin. Yes. Why he said, if, if you accept, why he said about his repentance? If someone, if God forced him to do things, why does he need to do repentance? Because exactly, that's, that's my point. Yeah, that's exactly. The question. You see, in the so same where, so where was his mercy? That's this, why I said Allah is yeah, not no, no, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on. It took so long hold on a second. It means what, is, what does what you destined? Sorry, let me just means distant. Like, means you destined me. Yeah, okay. You I didn't just, choose. Okay. okay. Can I can no. I respond to that? Yes. Yes. Hold on, hold on a second. Yeah. You destined me. Yeah. To commit this evil act. Yeah, this evil act. Why he said. If you accept my repentance, which means, does he have the choice? But you have a, a but hold on, if you don't, you repent. No, 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 yeah. I'm not jumping, I'm, I'm saying then to you. Yeah. Who, who's if fault? I took you, mm -hmm. yeah, and put you in a prison, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then I ask you, you have to willingly, willingly, for example, to seek repentance, willingly. Not force, you have willingly to do it. How is that? This is imbalance. So the point is, mm -hmm. that Allah Azza wa is saying in this, in the, in the meaning of it, yes. when he said, distant me, means yes. again distant from the destiny from yes. the qadr all the destiny of Allah Azzawajal, it is when it's related to the people means that Allah Azzawajal has made the the choices are available simple as that. he said you destined me he's he's not he's he's <laughs> denying the fact that he had free will okay, in what so he okay. did no, no, he no, said no, you no, destined okay. me okay. Okay. to Can commit this uh, you know yeah okay. that's it okay. you know, you're, you know what it yeah, means you're you know, interpolating you know, the meaning no, no what it means it means like because this. from the hadith yeah. we can clearly see when he had the argument with Moses Moses blamed Adam for, for everyone being miserable hold on, earth, hold on, and he said, no, how can you blame me for something Alex destined yeah, for yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. to create That's before. good, that's good. It, well, he didn't say, oh, I had to, I'm sorry yeah, because I had through you and I made okay. the wrong He never said that was my fault. But see, he talked about yeah. the destiny. Yeah, but he, okay. yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes. My guy? question is to you. Yes. So yeah. Adam didn't put the blame on Allah. Secondly, that's my point is to you again. Destined me means you made me in a nature to commit the sin. That's what means destined me. Allah from his destiny made Adam in a nature that to commit a sin. Yeah, you have so, a free will. So where is the but if you have, because he, if you have, he, what he's saying doesn't go with the text. No, or the yeah. examples okay. from the, the from the angel, from the children okay. being created for hell, from for, for hell and right. heaven. From when Allah says it, he causes them to do the deeds. Okay, it says you know, I think I think where the problem here is. Yes. Well, there are two four, things. Look, there yeah, are two things. First, the first and foremost thing yes. is the timelessness of God. Yeah. Okay. That's so fine. when you talk about the future, the past, okay. I don't wait, disagree wait, with wait. foreknowledge. No, I don't you need to understand the two things. Yeah. So the pre-knowledge of Allah and His eternal will. There is no contradiction with these two attributes of God, or with these two uh, uh, what do you say powers of God, with that of the free will of a human being. The reason for that is that at the end of the day, whatever good or bad you do, you're doing it by your own free will and by your own choice. So for example, if Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, whatever bad things he had done, he did it by his own free will. Nobody forced him to do anything. And did Allah, did Allah know of this already? Yes. yes. Because he did forced Allah, him to do it. That's yeah. You know, you know Allah's no, no, no. will, did no. Allah will, his will hash, and hash his knowledge, all. both of them, it wasn't his choice. they, they yeah. are not mutually exclusive. Okay. Plus the timelessness and if, of God. And if Adam, when you put these three things, you'll understand. And if Adam, problem. listen, paper boy. Yes, I'm talking to you. That's not good. I mean, you, Sorry. You, you, yeah. He's yeah. looking for another hadith. Okay. <laughs> because no, no, because paper because, boy. No, paper but boy. If paper I make a case, I have to provide evidence. Okay. Otherwise, that's we good. That's 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 good. Because I don't want to be like giving my own input. I'm giving you at least something to base my I respect it. My point on this discussion started with the truth. Listen. Look where it ended up. Listen. It I, went over I, respect, I respect what you did. Yes. yes. I respect that you brought the evidences. Now, my point is to you. Yes. Now, Adam is saying to Allah, yeah, and Adam and all of this, the destiny, which is related to this. Yes. Yeah? That means the nature of the, the nature of us that we commit sin. Yeah. Okay. All of us. This is our nature. Now, which means this is the destiny. Is is the nature of you you commit sin? Is it your nature? But then, if it's hold it, on, if it, I'm asking you, is it your nature that you commit sin? That you you yeah, you, have, you could have the ability. Yeah. yeah, you have the ability. Is it in your nature and every human nature? Yes. Okay. So if it's in your nature, is it from the destiny of God that you have this nature? <laughs> if you want to say that, yes. 
that's my point. But that's, that's not what he the text no, is saying. No, no, because hold because I had to give you four hold different texts. First, hold Allah creates the hold people for hell hold in the loins. No, hold on a second. Then he causes them to do the deeds no, 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 of the on. people of heaven and okay, hell. I, I told you. I, I, answer, I answer. We can't go back. Yeah, I know. But I answer, I'm just giving you. I'm, I answer. We can't go back. I know. I'm, we don't need okay. to go back. But I've shown so, you progressive. So the, so to build up the case again. I'm keep. I'm keep explaining to you. So since we are distant as us, we have decreed our decree. That it is in our nature yes. that we are we have the ability to commit sins. Okay. So since we have this ability okay. to commit sins, okay. that's these so are the meanings of all so of them. So do, do you know he what? always directed it towards Allah. No, he never said no, it was my fault. He asked for forgiveness. Remember? Why, why did he ask for forgiveness? Why did he ask for forgiveness then? If he directed it to Allah, why he so, asked forgiveness? Okay. If Let's you didn't commit sins. Okay. To if that. if you if your that's brother right. if your brother you know did something, why do you need to go to jail for him on his behalf? Exactly. Why do you need to go to apologize on his behalf? If someone, if, if Allah forced him to do it, Wait, why he's repenting? Let me, let me read this. It says, let, when, why he's repenting? Back to the tafsir, he says, if I repent, will you send me back to paradise? Yes. So he's saying, he, what, ha what, what, he, what, has, to, he has to get Allah's mercy. No, yes. he has to it, ask Allah yes. for forgiveness. What will be the yes. benefit of me asking for forgiveness? Yes, okay. exactly. And because he, what? because Allah, from the sin that, and, that and, who and, committed and it, by the way, that Allah made him commit. No, it no. means that Allah decreed him that he's able to do it. Decreed. Yes, exactly. Who said Allah he's made him sin? Who told you? Listen, Allah, text. Allah. Allah knew that he was no, going to sin. It doesn't. No, 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 no. It doesn't no. say that. No. It Allah, doesn't. Okay. Doesn't I, I would tell you. Allah knew. Yeah. Plus, Allah, from His decree that He put in our nature that we commit, we commit sin. In your nature, you commit sin. I'm talking to you, people. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Go in our nature, we commit sin. Simple as that. Yeah. So it is in our nature, and you agreed before that can God? Why God didn't create Adam? And since He hates the sins, or God doesn't love the sins, why did He? Why did He create Adam with ability to sin? You said this is His decree. Yes. So you agreed. But the Quran. Hold on a second. The Quran says you cannot will unless Allah wills. All right, baby boy, I need to go pray. Okay. Okay, but we'll talk again next time. Hopefully, someone will entertain the debate on the Trinity. And we'll do it time. We'll do it time. No, I don't like that. Do you understand what you mean by destined to sin? Yes. You prayed answer. Do you understand by destined to sin? Destined. He's trying to say. No, what I'm saying again. That means in our nature. Yeah. So that means what I'm saying in our nature. In our nature, that we are in our destiny, in our destiny, that in our nature, we have the ability to commit sin. Simple as yes. that. And all of it is related because here, yes. in the ayah of the Quran, yes. that in we show him the guidance. Allah said to Adam clearly in the in the Quran. Allah said to, to Adam and, and, and his wife, He said to them, Do not come close to this tree. Simple as that. So clear commandment of Allah, don't eat from this tree. Yes. Simple as that. Which means God is giving the instruction, yes. but as well. Allah knows that Adam will eat from it but yet Allah didn't stop him because you said you agreed with me yes. that that we are distant yes. to choose what we what we do but you have the but, but wait, you have but the capability no, to sin is because, because when we go to that hadith when Adam was arguing with Moses yeah. Moses was blaming Adam I answer, Adam did, I Adam didn't say I answer, yeah I you know what it was my fault no, no, I, I chose to do it he no. said how can you blame me for something Allah has decreed for no. me to do so he's so kind of saying his fault. yes so he could have easily fault. said he could have easily said let me just make my point let me just make my point he could have easily said Moses, forgive me. I made a stupid decision, or no, any no. variation. Say, say, of it. I will tell you that he's saying, "How can you blame me?" Yeah, for something that was decree. We is decree what I just said to you. Listen, I said to you, and I keep, I keep repeating. Yes. Now, yes. means in the nature of Adam, yes. will commit sin. I know, I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In the nature of Adam, will commit sin. Firstly, in the nature of in the nature of Adam, but Moses, everyone in the nature of Moses was aware of that. So why would they have an argument? No, no, he's not aware of that. Moses, no, no, he knows everyone had a sin nature. Hold on a second. In the nature of Adam, he will commit sin. Firstly, secondly, I will ask you a question. And this is something which is which is new for us. Yeah. Now, did did the God no, what you, according yeah, yeah. to what you believe? According to what you believe, when God created Adam, yeah, did he know that he's gonna punish him and put him on earth? Did he know? Yeah, from the beginning. In in my according to Christians, yes. So, did he create the earth for him? So then he's gonna come down to earth. Yeah, so Christians believe the Garden of Eden was on earth, not in heaven. Okay, they were. Yeah. What, what? The Garden of Eden, a paradise, was on earth, not in heaven. Uh, that's the first thing I said. We, we know that. Uh, yeah, because you. Yeah, so there are kidding. different interpretations. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm just saying from Christian theology. No, there are many Christians. They say they say other things. By the way, yeah. let me agree with this. So he was kicked out from from the heavens, yeah, yes. or from from the yeah, yeah. from the paradise. Yes. yes. Did he create this earth for him to survive? Before. 
was already the great FM survive in what sense? You know, this uh, full of suffering and full of all of these things, yes? yes? Did he create for Adam and his children to live on this earth yes. and knowingly he's going to commit sin and the consequence of him committing sin is they're going to go through so okay. he created the earth for them to live in paradise alongside with him when they ate from the fruit it caused original sin which caused them to be kicked out from the presence of God so okay, where, that, where they went? Huh? where they went? they were told to roam the earth so they are on earth so did he already before created the earth for them? They were on the earth when he created it. Was the earth, which is not paradise, when they yeah. out, the other earth? The other there was one earth, they were on the earth already. Which were, where they were? So, where that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm trying to tell okay, you. Okay, where is the paradise then? It know. wasn't in paradise. Where is it? Yes, it was called the garden. It was called, it was called, it was called the garden of, it was called the garden of Eden. You were on earth, on earth, in Iraq. Where is it? I don't know. So it disappeared? Yeah, could have been. Yes, we don't so, know where it is. No, it's no, no, yeah. it's in Iraq. No, because he kind of so, say like. So I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say something. But he, they were on Earth already. So, so he already so yes. knows they're gonna be kicked out from paradise. Yeah, yes. No, they wasn't kicked out. Yeah, in this world, he knows. Yeah, he knows they're gonna be kicked out of Earth. Yeah, and he already prepared for the Earth, the other side of Earth, prepared for them to survive. Yes. The whole Earth was okay. Bro, there wasn't in paradise anyway. Then what's the point? What's the point? This time, that was the Earth. I know. Yeah, it's okay. just okay, what's, there what's the wasn't point? in heaven. What's the point? Yeah, there were, there were yeah that's earth. what I've said. Yeah, that's they what I've said. They were taken out from okay. the garden, yeah, not heaven. Yeah, that's what okay. I've said. That's what okay. I've said. Okay. Not heaven. Why, 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 why did they have this garden of Eden? Why did they have it? Why did they have the garden of Eden? Yeah, why, why, why is it? If, if the earth is all of it created for them, why they are in the garden of Eden? That was the best place. That's just where the story starts. Do you see there is a lot of confusion? Anyway, my point is to you, yeah? There is a lot of things that these details you'll say, What's the point? He knows that they're gonna commit sin. But the, the, he knows the, 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 the difference is they, he knows they're gonna they commit committed sin, okay. sin on their free will because Satan okay. tempted them. If they commit, Adam, if they didn't, if they didn't commit sin, what will happen? Then we'll all be in paradise. Uh -huh. That's my point. So why did he do that to them then? Because he didn't God, do that to them. Because they God chose. gave free will to His creation. Okay, anyway, Unless we have. Yeah, yeah, we'll anyway, have this I have, but I, clearly, what I'm saying to you yes. again, and I'll keep repeating, inshallah, for you the, the same thing. Yes. All the decree of Allah, which yes. is mentioned, is related firstly to uh, that Allah Azzawajal is giving the ability and the capability of the people to do it. Simple as but that. From the four no, texts that I've shown yeah, you, that's because, not what it's saying. Because that's why you, you're like ISIS. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> <Yeah>. Because <laughs> ISIS they do the same thing. Because listen, they do the same. They will bring text. Oh, this here will do this. Simple as that. So that's why we say to you again. I'm keep repeating this yes. to you, so you don't understand these things just from one text. And I've given you multiple texts. And I give you another text. Allah guides and he misguides. And, uh, you cannot will unless Allah wills. Okay. Okay. And, uh, we, we, have, we, have shown you, we have showed you the guidance, either Fankul or, or this believer. What do you do with that? What do you mean? So Allah said here in the Quran, yes. we showed him the guidance, yes. the human being. He is either thankful and worshipper of Allah, or he's a disbeliever. How we deal with it? Okay, let's see what Allah says. So anyway, <laughs> these are one of the things which is, which is again, so you cannot take one text and remove the other. That's my point to you. And for but you, this I've given you, but I've given you the tafsirs. I've given you the hadiths. And I give, and and I, I give you verses. Yeah. Which but you have to understand, understand. Even if you only yeah. gave him one, it's yeah. still in contradiction so, to the other. And, and I give you all of these things. That's why we say we combine them. And that's what I was do doing. No, you didn't do it no, because listen, you just the, no, no, determinism. No, no, there is no, no. one. How many Christians? Around no, no, listen, listen. There was two. I'm surrounded, two surrounded, two. surrounded by hyenas. Yeah, 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 anyway, <laughs> no, the hyenas, the hyenas. Yeah. Criminal hyenas. Yeah. Anyway, so yes. my point, my, my point is to you. Yeah. I still, I still respect your argument. That's why us as Muslims, yes, we don't take the text out of its context. Yes. We have to understand it in the line of the other things. Simple as that. So in the line, I'm saying to you, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm just going in to the line of the other things, yes. yeah, I explained to you in the line of other things means the destiny of Allah as Allah has in many ahad, there's many ahadith by the way about that, yeah. And there are many as well verses in the Quran. When Allah says clearly in the Quran, clearly it's said that we'll not punish until we send the messenger first. Allah said clearly in the Quran, for example, we have showed him the guidance, the human being. He's okay. either thankful and worshiper of Allah or he's a disbeliever. So what about 81, 29? Okay, and you I, cannot I think, will. I think you are in genuine now. No, no, no. I'm just asking you. Look, no, we're having what, this. What I, I think what this is, I said, what I said. this is fundamental. What, 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 in our what I said earlier. What I said earlier. That you believe I'm sincere. No, what I said now, earlier. Now, well, well, I'm talking to you now. So you're talking about the verses that show Allah gives people choices. Oh, you didn't repeat what I said. 
not for but that's that. what you were saying. Anyway, we we'll leave this is until it, you. Wait, wait, is now, that what you said? Though? Now you've been. I was listening. No? You been? Was, is that what I said? You've been in. No, that's wrong. I didn't say that. So what did you say? Uh, you didn't listen. No, I said I you can't repeat listen. verbatim. I'm not memorizing. That's I'm listening. Why you, but I'm, li I'm understanding what you're you saying. You become ingenuous. No, no, I'm understanding the point you're making. My point is to you again. Yes. We don't take the text out of its context. Simple as it. But so I've given him four different texts. And I give you five. What do we do? What five? You gave me. What, which five? <laughs> yeah, check them. Check them here. When you you gave me five, five texts. How many, how many of them? Now I told you. Okay. In the, in now, we will not punish it. until we show. Okay, can you check me? Oh, now you need to check now. How are you become engineer? Yeah, you, but you, you haven't I told think, me what I'm um, first for I me think, to look. I think. Yeah, but I we think, haven't said which surah, so I can look for myself. Okay, that's I'll, what I'm saying. I'm saying you. Check in the Quran. Yeah. Firstly, verse in the Quran. We will not punish until we send the message. What, what sorry is that? Check it. That's I don't, I'd have to read the whole oh, <laughs> Quran to find out. But if so you're being sincere, let me at least I go am, and research for myself. I am. Yeah, which surah? You never educate me about the Bible. Yeah, so re, re, <laughs> give me the surah, then I will look for it. Okay, I will do that. That's all I'm saying. If you're giving me verses, okay. I'm, you said you give me five. I didn't even know you gave me okay. one. So I'm saying, what okay. are the surahs? Let me go and research for myself because I can give you, and you cannot will unless Allah yeah. wills. You, can, you do not guide those who you like, but God guides whom he wills. Can we you just see, we're going back. Yeah, we're but going, I'm just saying, I'm, back. I can give you like, so I'm just saying, what are the verses that you want me to read? Surah Al-Insan, verse uh, number three. Yeah. We showed him the way, whether he's grateful or ungrateful, means a disbeliever. Okay. Yeah? So that's what I am. So the messages you gave good news as well as warning that mankind after you should have no plea against Allah for Allah exalted in his power wise. Okay, that's another one. What did the verse say? Is he trying to give you verses now in support of the free will or right? Because, because what he's showing me is that people will... will uh, because you know, obviously it says, and if we had so willed, okay. we would have given every soul its guidance. So okay. what he's showing that people have the choice, but then Alice saying he is the source of that choice. Yeah. Okay. But he's he's what he was saying would confirm what this is saying, but it's not I don't disagree that it's free will. Yeah. Because we, we look in the hadiths as well, which gives you a clear and the tafs is. Yeah. When Adam had clearly said, Was it my destiny for me to do this? Not that was it in my nature. Is this or I, oh. forgive me for he's saying you've destined for me now this is the sort of the verse that you're doing yeah yes we if we had so willed we could certainly have brought every soul its true guidance so we could give it the true guidance yes yeah. but, Ali Chase, not yeah. but the word for me will come true I will fill hell with jinns and men all together yeah yes the next one and that goes with the hadith where people are created in the loins Taste ye then, for ye forgot the meeting of this Forget. day. Was it the choice? Taste ye then, for ye forgot the meeting of this day of yours, and we too will forget. Taste ye the penalty of eternity for your evil deeds. Now so, explain what so, you believe that to me. So, uh, these are this is what you need to prepare yes. and learn. And so that's why you just took one. You see how is it? No, but can you when explain you are, that last one? When you are in genuine person, yes. you will take the first verse and that's it. Like him. But I've got, I've got plenty yeah. of verses. I'd love yeah. to have a discussion. I've yeah. given you hadiths and so, tafsirs. So it's not been insincere. No, no, so that's why, when, uh, that's why if you are a genuine person, you will think you read the context. Yes. So when you read this, yes. that's how we so Now, the hadith, you said you talk about the hadith, yes? Yes. That's good. The first he brought from the hadith then, would you reject it? Because it clearly contradicts these. Until you become genuine, then I will deal with it. So Since you don't want to answer the question? Yeah, basically. yeah, I don't want to answer the question. Because I don't think you are... That's fine, no, I just thought if you yeah. have the truth that you want to make ah, others right. aware of. I don't care if you, if you know the truth or not. That's fine. Okay. You don't care if I burn in the hellfire then? Yeah, Alright, exactly. Shay, how, we'll wrap this up and then we'll, con so we'll anyway, continue. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. we, have, we have as well, many hadith as well, it, it comes along with that. Yeah? Okay. So, we have the we have Wait, okay, yes. now we have the hadith for example. So, uh, you, okay, you make your closing remarks and I'll make my closing remarks and then we can. No, no, there is no closing. Or yeah, or just say what you have to like this last one and then we'll wrap, wrap, we'll wrap up after this because it's been quite a long a long time and you have engaged me so I'm sure you're quite tired as well. I am. Inna Allah la yadlubu mithqala dar. Allah will not oppress even a single seed. Allah will, Allah, Allah will not oppress. 
even an amount of a single seed. Okay. If you did a, a good deed, Allah will increase it. Okay. Yeah? Allah will increase it. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and Allah will give from him as well a, a great reward. Now, there is another ayah as well. Okay, but that's not saying you had a, a decision. It's just saying the deeds you do are that are good, Allah yeah. will increase. If, if you distant, that means he's oppressing. If Allah distant you to do even deeds and yes. put you in the hell fire, that's yeah. oppression, isn't it? But that's what the text clearly says. No, but that's how Allah has said Allah will never, if you did a single deed, a single good deed, Allah yeah. will increase it. And as well, but when Allah ayah, says you cannot, and, and you cannot be guided ayah, unless He guides, that means He has to give permission for that. No, right? two things that have to be permission. Yeah, it has exactly. to. It has. You have to show the guidance. Yeah. If there is no messenger to guide us, how are you going to be guided? Simple as that. Okay. If you if you don't Why know says, if you are here and you don't know how to go outside, for example, to go somewhere, you have no guidance. How are you going to get there? So Allah has sent you this guidance. Yes. This from His will. Yes. He is willingly sending you the guidance. Okay. That's how it is. So anyway, these are few hadith and few ayat which I mentioned to you now, which is I, as a, as I said to you, and I believe or I assume you are, you you keep your genuinity, okay. that you want to continue like that. So that's why go and study. Firstly, secondly, as well, the same thing that you want to implement in Islam, mm -hmm. try to implement it on your faith, and think, oh, hold on, we have the same thing. Yeah, many many of the Christians they come, oh, you have this in Islam, you have that in Islam, but well, you have it in your own faith. That's my point. So do not, which means when you point a finger to someone, there are three fingers pointing to you. Yeah? By the way, I will see you then <laughs> next time. But, but yeah. in terms of the Christian theology. I, know, yeah. I, have, I have to go now. All right. Thank you, well, thank you for your time, Sheikh. Thank you, Anton. So, in terms of, we've obviously had a very long discussion, and the verses he was pulling out don't support really, in a totality, what the clearly the, the hadith, the Quran, and the tafsir say that from the beginning, Adam did not. He never took accountability for his own sin. He always attributed it to Allah. They're now trying to say, oh, Allah had given him the will to do it, but Allah foreknew. That's not what the text clearly says. And we repeat over and over again, and we can see like his interpretation has kind of gone around what it's and interpolating a, a next meaning to it. But clearly Allah says he guides whom he wills, he misguides whom he wills. Clearly we see this throughout the Quran. He even deceived Satan. There is no, when Allah says he's the best of deceivers, he deceives everybody. So even the book itself is a book of deception. But we tried to point this out in their own book. They'll try and say we're trying to deceive them or whatever. But clearly the verse and the hadith obviously are there to clarify what's in the Quran. Because he's talking about ISIS misinterpreting what's in the Quran. But this is why you have the hadith that clarify through a situation that you can then understand the and interpretation the true and also the tafsirs and it clearly says Adam was led astray and even when we look at hadiths about women it says Allah gave them deficiencies and those deficiencies are going to cause them to be in hell more than men but I didn't want to bring that one out but you know we'll keep <laughs> every week we'll keep trying to get an explanation of this and as we see last week we had a different explanation this week because there's another explanation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure next week it will still be another interpretation. Oh, so it? it's just yeah, confusion. Uh, can I just add on to that really quickly as well? Uh, any Muslims that are watching this, I implore you to go and research the difference between determinism and free will. They're two opposite ends of the spectrum. Determinism, the definition is that all moral choices and events are completely determined by previously existing causes. Now this is in complete contrast to the idea of free will. You cannot have one if you have the other. Now. The, the verse that my brother uh, Paperboy over there quite neatly pulled out of the hadith talking about how Adam was destined by Allah to commit this sin. Surely if determinism is the idea that all moral choices are determined by a previously existing cause, then if one of these causes is the destined, to be destined to do it by God, then that in itself is determinism, meaning it is not free will and that Adam did not sin by free will but instead determinism, thereby leading to the conclusion that it was Allah that caused him to sin which brings up a whole host of questions and people always gone through that already.